You ready for game time? Join me, Sal from Behind New York Basketball, as I announce play by play. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe, because now we're about to go live. Entering the pregame, we now present Sal from Behind New York Basketball. And what's good, everyone? Happy Easter, everybody. Glad to have you guys back in once again, and here we go. Winner of this game going to play in the final four. This is the right side of the bracket. The number one seed, the Purdue Boilermakers, taking on the number two seed, the Tennessee Volunteers. And both of these teams actually played each other back in the Maui Invitational. Purdue won that game 71-67 to back on November 21st, and they meet up here on the final day of March. For the NCW tournament. If you guys are new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. And uh, I'm going to tip off in about seven minutes from now. Lucas, Teddy, Will, welcome in. Glad to have you guys back in. Once again, being a part on the channel. Purdue has been rolling. They played a back and forth game in the first half against Gonzaga, and then the second half, they just completely just took over. 80 to 68, Purdue won in the Sweet 16 over the Zags. And Braden Smith dished out a career high 15 assists. He's been incredible in this tournament for Braden Smith. He has 31 assists to just five total turnovers. He had zero turnovers in the opening round against Grambling. 15 assists to just two turnovers in the last game against Gonzaga. Just absolutely sensational. They got players in their team left and right that's splashing down threes. They're the best three-point shooting team in the country for Purdue. And this is going to be a really good matchup today here. Zakai Ziegler going up against Braden Smith in this game. Dalton Connect, big bounce back victory for Tennessee, winning over Creighton in the Sweet 16, 82-75. He was limited to just 5 for 18 shooting in the round of 32 game against Texas, but showed up big time um, against Creighton on Friday night. So this game's taking place in Detroit, Michigan. And then this is the right side of the bracket over in Phoenix, Arizona. Whoever wins this one will face the winner of the final Elite Eight game later today, just past 5 p.m. between Duke and NC State. Jen, welcome back in. Uh, Vegas on the stream. Pringle, welcome in. I'm going to go Purdue for my prediction in this one. I really liked what I saw from Purdue on Friday night. That was close the first half against Gonzaga, and then they just pulled away. And Purdue was making their threes. Um, just so strong from the perimeter. They got a lot of good perimeter guys on this team. They're built down low with Zach Eady. The opponents try to do whatever they can to handle Zach Eady. You can double him, but 
if you do double, they got shooters all around the outside. Braden Smith, which he can dish out seven plus assists per game. He averages. He had a career high fifteen the last game. Edie's averaging twenty seven and sixteen in this tournament on the 67% shooting. The first player to average 25 and 15 the first games in the NCAA tournament ever in NCAA tournament history. That is just insane. National player of the year. It's crazy. He was in the 400s as a recruit coming out of high school for Zach Eady and just um, developing his game every single year. Just, I mean, just sending a message to the country here of all the haters that, uh, Thought that Purdue would once again just be knocked out early in the bracket. Didn't like Purdue. And uh, Purdue has just sent a message to the rest of the country that this team is different from years past for them. And they're seeking a Final Four appearance for the first time since 1980 for the Boilermakers. They made it twice to the Final Four, 1969 and 1980. They were runner-up in 1969 in the National Championship. I think um, I, I, I think UConn's going to take it all. But if there's a team that can give him a run for his money, I feel like it's going to be Purdue. And Tennessee, the big key here is they cannot get into foul trouble. That's what hurt Gonzaga. So 40 minutes here from history for both of these teams. Tennessee in their second ever Elite Eight appearance. They've never been to the Final Four. Whereas Purdue, they've waited all this time since 1969 to see if they can get back to the Final Four. They've been... Into the Elite Eight now for their sixth appearance. 2019 with Carson Edwards was the previous time they made it to the Elite Eight. They lost in overtime against the national champion, Virginia. And they're trying to write the story this year of redemption. Just like Virginia did 2018 to 2019. Lost to a 16 seed next year win the national championship. So that is the story for Purdue. And basically been them against like the rest of the country proving all the doubters wrong that they can make a deep run in this tournament. Charlize, welcome back in. Thanks for joining in once again. Happy Easter, everybody. We're going to tip off in around three minutes from now. What a wild stream yesterday that was. Alabama beat Clemson. Alabama versus UConn on the left side of the bracket. Final four is set. And now just two more matchups today to determine the right side of the bracket. First one here, winner of Tennessee versus Purdue, and then winner of NC State versus Duke. Just what a remarkable run that NC State has had for them in the tournament. Purdue comes in 3.5 point favorites, 147.5 on the over-under for today's matchup. A big key for Tennessee, you cannot get the front court guys into early foul trouble. They're going to try to bring physicality. Jo uh, Jonas Adu inside. He's like the the main front court player that they have for Tennessee. And then the rest of the guys, they have guards. They got a bunch of experience in this Tennessee squad, though. They have eight seniors. Dalton Connect transferred in from Northern Colorado. Now he's got three NCAA tournament games underneath his belt. All-American Dalton Connect going up against... They have two All-Americans on their team. One of them an honorable mention with Braden Smith and then Zach Eadie, National Player of the Year. Hey, what's good? Magic Speedboy in the channel. Welcome in. Yeah, that's going to be interesting there uh, between Edie and Klingon. If Klingon gets into foul trouble, then it starts to benefit Edie. In that matchup. UConn's still just smashing teams left and right. Even though they haven't shot the best from three. They just they just go on massive runs. They're just so good in the second half for UConn. Purdue was the same against Gonzaga. But uh, UConn, that, that 30 zip run. I mean that just, that just puts the cherry on top right there. What UConn did. That was just, man. Holy smokes. Against an Illinois team that was like top 10 offense this year. They had no points during the clip that UConn scored 30. Yeah, that I, I'd be shocked right there if Alabama beats UConn. U, UConn would have to have a super off game. Like everything would have to go like completely wrong for UConn. The thing, the thing, though, um, for UConn is that they haven't taken a flight 
since early March. So the last time they took a flight was back in the first week of March when they traveled out to Marquette. Uh, when they took a flight out to Creighton, which is the longest plane ride out of all the teams out of the Big East schools over to Omaha, they lost that game by 19. So this is like the first like road test on a neutral court that UConn's flying all the way across the country three time zones earlier than the Eastern Standard Time Zone. They've been playing basically home games for them since the Big East tournament. They had games over in Brooklyn, and then they just had the last two in the TD Garden. Zakai Ziegler, Jabai Meshack, Dalton Connect, Josiah Jordan James, Jonas Adu, the starting five for Tennessee, Braden Smith, Lance Jones, Fletcher Lawyer, Trey Kaufman, Ren Zach Eady, the starting five for Purdue. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. And here we go. Winner will advance over to the Final Four. Rick Barnes in his ninth season as head coach. One and two in Elite Eight games all time. Matt Painter's second Elite Eight appearance. They lost in overtime to Virginia, the national champions, back in 2019. Yeah, Alabama's going to need like 20 plus threes in that game to win two. The games are played for a reason. Um, can't count out anybody because anyone can have like an off off game on any sort of day or so. Tennessee with their orange uniforms, white numbers, white letters. Purdue, white jerseys, black numbers, black letters for this matchup with the curse of Purdue out in front. And we are underway. Tennessee controls the opening tip. Tennessee with the first possession. Ziegler going up. Against Smith, that's the matchup to look out for this game. Ziegler wide open, took the three, came off the rim short. Offensive rebound right back to Ziegler now. Ziegler guarded by Lance Jones, dribbles up inside the key. Bounce pass, floater inside. Edie got a piece of it. Jonas Edie tried to float up a runner over Edie at the low block. And Edie got a fingertip on that ball, broke it up. First possession now for Purdue. Sixth Elite Eight appearance in school history. Two and three in Elite Eight games. Top of the key. Here's a three Purdue. Missed off the mark. No good by Smith. Rebound on the offensive glass by Edie. Top of the key. Lawyer fires the pass. Mid block off to Edie. Edie backs his way. Bouncing bodies on Edie. With a left-handed hook. He scores up and through. It's good for Edie. Two zip Purdue. Tennessee and Purdue already played each other once. It was only a four-point win by Purdue. 71-67. And day two in the Maui Invitational coming off the screen. Jumper, mid-range, cut it a drop. Dalton connect on the board for two. So he knocks down the 13-footer. First minute plus of action here. Purdue able to capitalize in the offensive rebound. Put back by Edie in the first opportunity. Edie, turnaround hook inside a key. That time he bricked it off the back room. No good. Tennessee bringing physicality down low. Edu able to collect the rebound. Ziegler off the floor. Moves on top off to connect. Connect towards his right, dribbles up to the elbow, connect, lost the handle, got it back though. A key for them is that they only turned it over four times. And a win over Creighton on Friday. They have 12 turnovers. They forced 17 in the second round against Texas. Jumper, no good. Missed off the mark by Adu as Edu collects his second rebound. And Adu, that's going to go against Meshack actually from behind. Meshack picks up the loose ball foul. That's exactly what Tennessee cannot afford to do. For Meshack, that gets credited to him, which is a backcourt player. So it's not like the follow got picked up by a frontcourt player, which would be a tough, tough start for them. But that's the first personal foul that they just reached in after ED came up on the glass. And you have to avoid that if you're Tennessee in this game if you want to stand a chance. Purdue with the ball. Smith towards his right around the perimeter, lobs it up over the top. ED catches it. ED throws it down with a two handed flush. Wow, what a fine right there by Braden Smith. That was through a tight window. Just lobs it up to the big fella behind two players. Jumps up, snatches it, throws it down. Smith, number two in the country, averaging seven and a half assists per game. Tennessee down by two now. Bounce pass goes to Ziegler. Ziegler, baseline dribble, swings it out right wing. Meshack takes the three, bricked off the back of no good. Tipped up by Smith for the defensive rebound. Tennessee's three is not looking so hot so far. One for five from the floor. Purdue's two for four. Smith drives right to the cup. Miscommunication defensively by Tennessee as Braden Smith takes it a distance for the layup. 6-2 now for Purdue. Nobody rotating over there for Tennessee. Tennessee off the screen with... 
connect. He's got the lone two of the game so far. Dribbles back to the logo. Connect now. Dribbles. Drives downhill on ED to the cup. No good. Offensive rebound. Adu swings it off to the wing. Jordan James takes the three and he buries it. That's big time for Tennessee. Three second chance points at the wing by Josiah Jordan James. It's 17 points in the Sweet 16 on Friday. Purdue has possession. Smith towards his right. And a reach and foul picked up. Charged to Adu on his first. So now Adu and Meshack with one personal foul. Smith got contacted hard. Off the dribble towards his right. 16.45 left to go. Good start here to this one. That was a huge three. Tennessee had not much momentum going on. And uh, Purdue was looking to see if they can get up early. But that was a big three there by Jordan James. Inbound here for Purdue. Back to the March Madness logo. The last meeting on November 21st, the Maui Invitational had 78 total free throw attempts combined. 51 total fouls as Smith goes up off the off fake, draws contact, and gets fouled. And that's the third already by Tennessee as a team. That's the first one picked up to charge to connect. That's on connect is first. And this will be two shots coming up here by Braden Smith for Purdue. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you guys would like to be notified here for future live streams in the channel. Purdue, first free throw, goodbye Smith at the line. That's insane, they had that many fouls in the last game. Yeah, 21 personal fouls by Purdue, 30 by Tennessee. Tennessee had only two guys foul out. In the meeting in the Maui Invitational, Jonas Adu and Toby Awaka, both of those guys followed out in the last meeting. Both of the free throws went down. Could act, takes the jumper deep too, and he drills it. 8-7 to seven now. Only down by one for Tennessee. Connect bouncing back in a big way against Creighton on Friday. 24.6 rebounds, 5 assists. Trey Kaufman, Wren, slides it off to Jones. Top of the key, takes the three, got knocked down. No call by the referees there as they say play on. Tennessee has the ball up in transition. Tennessee to the rim. Meshack and he will draw the shooting foul. Picked up charge to Smith. And that is Smith's first personal foul now for Purdue. I have to say Tennessee is doing great possession wise. Ur urgently trying to get up the floor. You see a lot of these teams in a tournament, once they get the rebound, they slow down the ball and allows the other defense to get set. But Tennessee's pushing it up against this Purdue defense because they want to get back and see if they can score some points in transition. The first one's good. We get a tie game here. Meshack makes the first free throw. Tennessee is yet to lead. They have a chance to do so here. Hey, what's good? Mario in the street. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Happy Easter, man. Second free throw for the lead. They got it. Meshack, two for two. Santiago Vescovi didn't play in the last game. He had a flu against Creighton. He is back once again. They got a bunch of experience in this Tennessee squad. Vescovi and Jordan James, those two guys in particular, they played against Tyrese Maxey in the 2019-20 Kentucky team before the pandemic. They upset Kentucky, which was a five, top five team that year, which had Tyrese Maxey. On their squad with those two guys, Vescovy and Jordan James, they won the SEC tournament the next year after that, uh, coming or the year coming back from the pandemic, as the bucket is good down low plus the foul. So one shot coming up in the free throw line. Once we get back from the timeout for Purdue, that's a strong move down low there for the Boilermakers to respond. That is Trey Kaufman Wren, who just made the last layup. We take the timeout. First media break of the game. 15-41 left to go. Purdue by one, and a free throw coming up after the timeout. Early fall trouble right now for Tennessee, and that's what you have to avoid against Purdue. I'm going to get up the box here for uh, the box score. See, break down who's got the follow so far in this game right now. It's been all spread out. So they have four as a team. One each between Adu, Connect, Meshack, and then Vescovy just picked up a quick follow off the bench. So he just checked in, and in his first like 30 seconds, he picked up the shooting follow for Vescovy. Purdue, it's only been Smith. Uh, Smith got 
called in the reach and follow. All right, so happy Easter, everybody. Thanks all for joining in right now. We're just on the timeout. If you're new in the channel, smash the thumbs up. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. And uh, wow, what a what a tournament we've had. Incredible games all over the place. This one's had a good start to it so far. Gonzaga-Purdue was a really good game. Like that, that first half was good. And then Purdue in the second just took it by storm. They just came away and... We're knocking down threes in that second half. Well, hopefully everybody's doing well on uh, this Easter Sunday today. Final day of March. Can't believe that the month went by just like so fast. It's crazy. And I'll be back later this afternoon too covering Duke against NC State. Whoever wins this game will take on the winner. Duke versus NC State next Saturday in the Final Four. And then the National Championships, not tomorrow, but the following Monday. It's the National Championship game. Good start for Connect so far. Four points by Connect, two for three shooting from the floor for Tennessee. Josiah Jordan James made that critical three. It's been the points in the paint so far. This is benefiting Tennessee right now. Five out of the seven made field goals combined have been through points in the paint. Purdue has yet to make a three. They're zero for two from the perimeter. They're number one in the nation shooting around 41% from three-point range. The free throw is no good by Kaufman and Ren as we come back from the timeout. 10-9 Purdue leads. Tennessee came up with a rebound. Connect. Moves it off to Ziegler, top of the key. 15 and a half left to play in the first. Ziegler. Bounce pass, moves it down to the low post. Turn around, Jepper. Mid-range for Tennessee. They drill it. That's number 11 off the bench. Toby Awaka. He was playing some critical minutes. The victory over Texas in the round of 32. All field goals made in the paint so far for Tennessee. Purdue. That is for Purdue, actually. Purdue has made all their buckets inside down low. Edie double-teamed. Edie just got blocked. Toby Owaka right next to his teammate Jordan James down low, and they stuff Edie. Tennessee by one with a possession outside. Connect takes the three, and he rips it through. It's good by Dalton Connect. 14-10. Big momentum change right there to block as Edie at 7-4 gets to 9. And then Tennessee translates it off to a three out in transition. They've been doing well offensively in this game when it's come down to transition points. Smith swings it out to the top here. Lawyer yet to get on the board, looking to move it off. Bounce pass goes to his right to Trey Kaufman. Wren outside a lawyer. Lobs it off to Edie. Edie at the mid-block here. Edie backs his way. Five of the shot clock. Edie turn around, and he is able to get it to go. Good for the bucket. Two-point game right now. Playing through Edie down in the low post. Connect. Dribbles up inside the key. Lost the handle. His teammate right place, right time. Vescovy out to the corner. Connect. Takes the three. Bang, bang. He rips down another one. Oh, with a start here for the All-American. The transfer from Northern Colorado. Dalton Connect. Ten points by Connect. Perfect. Two for two now on back-to-back -back threes. Four for five. Shooting. Under 14 minutes left to go in the first. Electric start here for Tennessee. They were trailing early. Now they lead by five. Open three. Smith and away from the basketball. It will be an offensive foul. Committed by Kaufman. Ren of Purdue. Physicality by Tennessee. Really jumbling up Purdue so far. How is Purdue going to respond? Tennessee just... Taking it up a notch physicality-wise right now. Connect with 10 out of the 17 for Tennessee. Tennessee with a possession. Bounce pass over to the top. Jordan James. Hand off to Connect. Connect at the elbow. Rises for the jumper. Deep two. Off the mark. No good. A rebound secure by Smith. Smith crosses midcourt. Looking to push it here for Purdue. Hand off. Here's a three open in the clear. No good off the front rim by Lawyer. Tipped off the rim by Edie. He was held up and followed though. That's Tennessee's fifth. Only thing stopping Tennessee right now is foul trouble. Fifth personal foul by Tennessee, two by Purdue. 
Happy Easter, everybody, and glad to have you guys join in, be a part on the channel once again. The road to the Final Four. Whoever wins this game will be appearing in the Final Four. We'll take on the winner of Duke versus NC State. Tennessee is looking for their first ever Final Four appearance in program history. This is their second ever Elite Eights. They made the Elite Eight the first time as a program back in 2010. Purdue are looking for their first Final Four since 1969. In 1980, they've been to the Final Four twice, deflected into the backcourt. Purdue is able to pick it up, 12 in the shot clock. Active defensively there by Zakai Ziegler. That's the matchup between him and Braden Smith. Smith was limited in the last game to single digits. In the Maui Invitational down low. Here's a turnaround shot. Lawyer, no good off the rim. Kaufman, Ren, or that is Edie trying to punch it down as Edie got followed. And this will be two shots here by Edie at the free to line. I think for Purdue, the X factor in this game is going to be... Fletcher Lawyer, he had 20, 27 in the meeting in the Maui Invitational for him, for Fletcher Lawyer. He was 7 for 18 from the floor, 10 for 11 at the free throw line. He had 27 points in that game. He's kind of been off to a slow start in the tournament for Fletcher Lawyer. He's had the looks on the shot attempts, just haven't been able to send them down. Edie will shoot two at the free throw line, and the first one's good. Randy, welcome back in. Thanks for joining in, man. Hit us up in the chat who you guys like to win this one. Tennessee, Purdue, type it in. Vols, Boilermakers. A statement start for Tennessee. They bring in substitutes. Jordan Ganey, the transfer from SC Upstate, comes onto the floor now. This is a really good sign for Tennessee. First seven minutes, they piled up 17 points. 10 out of the 17 through their All-American Dalton Connect. Second free throw by Edie. Ooh. That goes through. Okay. That was going to be a, a lane violation right there. Charged to Awaka. He left early before the free throw was up off the fingertips of Edie. So if Edie had missed that, they would have called him back in the free throw line because Awaka clearly passed the clear line. But Edie made it anyway. Back in their way. Inside off the hook shot. Missed off the front rim. No good by Awaka. Rebound control by Purdue. Purdue but down by three. The best three-point shooting team in the country. Yet to make a three. Look at the change that. No good. They missed the transition three. Offensive rebound. Edie. Quarter three. Gillis. Bricked off the back iron. And their threes are not dropping. Unlike Friday night where they were sizzling against Gonzaga. Tennessee with a basketball. Three for five from the perimeter for Tennessee. Purdue zero for five. Runner. Missed off the back heel by Ziegler. The ball goes back to Purdue. Purdue's going to look to slow it down now. Dale, welcome back in. He's got Purdue for this one. Pass midcourt with Lance Jones on the outside. Gillis. Gillis lobs it off to Edie. Edie's going to have to eat his way inside a low post. Kick out corner. Wide open. Three. Gillis. No good. It's Brick City right now for Purdue. Zero for six from three point range. Missing a wide open three from the corner. Ziegler to Meshack at the wing. Back into the hands to Ziegler. 12 minutes left to play in the first half. Three-point lead for Tennessee, looking to see if they can start to get away from their scoring drought that they've had recently. To the elbow, looking to turn the corner, connect, kick out, corner, wide open, three, Ziegler, no good, missed off the rim short. Jones collects the defensive rebound, Purdue, zero for six from three, Jones swings it off to Edie. Top of the free throw circle, dribbles back, hand off Gillis, he's missed two straight threes in a row. Into the hands here. Of Kaufman Ren on the outside. Gillis bounce pass. Edie backs his way inside the key. Edie put one up and they got stole away. That was more like a pass right there for Edie. Looked like he got stripped of the basketball to turn over. Bouncing bodies to the rack. Floating up the shot by Connect. And Connect on the floor gets fouled. So I believe it's going to be on the floor. Purdue picks up their third as a team. And the physicality right now for Tennessee really uh, just kind of shattering Purdue a little bit right now looking a little bit clueless out there and uh, missing their shots that they've got wide open currently in this one 17 of 14 as we're down to 11 and a half left to play as we take the timeout Tennessee up by three hey what's good JD on the street welcome back in David happy Easter to everybody Purdue's just missing their threes right now. Zero for six from three. Wide open, breaking their threes. They're going to have to keep on playing through Edie throughout this game. Edie has eight points out of the 14. 
had a turnover just recently for him, but everybody else, Braden Smith with four, and then two by Trey Kaufman, Ren, they don't have anybody really in foul trouble right now. Edie just picked up his first, though, so, or, uh, check that, not Edie, that was Camden, Camden Hyde, Edie's got a turnover, as I'm looking at the stat line, but, uh, Camden Hyde came in, picked up his first personal foul, I believe it was on the floor, uh, before Connect went into the hook shot. Tennessee has had so they split the personal fouls right now. They've got six total. They split them between six different players in this game. That's what they need to avoid. If Tennessee is going to win this game, got to avoid foul trouble ra racking up those fouls, especially with uh, Jonas Adu. He, ha he has to stay away from foul trouble. And right now, Adu's got one. Hey, what's good? Randy in the stream. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in, man. We got 60 plus watching right now. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. It helps out this channel a ton being found on YouTube. I cover basketball play by play action of college basketball, also NBA streams as well for the playoffs. And um, I'll be back later today covering Duke against NC State. So if you like to see the second stream later today, feel free to join back in and hope everybody is doing well. And happy Easter out to everyone out there. Matt Painter looking to make the adjustments here for his squad right now is Purdue. Zero for six from three-point range. All five made field goals in the paints. And they're having a lot of difficulty with Tennessee's physicality so far in this game. That's what eliminated Duke last year from the tournament. Tennessee just took it another lot physicality-wise. Tennessee... When the Connect was having an off game against Texas, they somehow, some way, found a way to win in the second round against Texas. Wasn't pretty, but able to get the job done 62-58 to in round two. And then outlasted Creighton in the Sweet 16 on Friday to get here. They got red hot in the second half early on, built up a 14-point lead. Gonzaga, on the other hand, got red hot in the second, or uh, Purdue got red hot against Gonzaga in the second half too, starting to make their threes. So it all depends. If Purdue can make, can make their threes, they can come back in this game. Tennessee's going to stay away from foul trouble. They've done a good job with that so far. Nobody's picked up a second personal foul. They split the fouls between six players with one each. Inbound here for Tennessee. Ziegler. Dribbles back to the edge in the midcourt logo. Ziegler, 15 on the shot clock. Bounce pass off to Adu. Jumper, 15-footer straight away. Missed off the rim short. Smith collects the defensive rebound for Purdue. And Purdue will keep on slowing down the basketball. Only trailing by three right now. It seems like they're down by a lot more because they haven't made a three-point shot just yet. Smith, towards his right around the perimeter. Smith swings it outside. Gillis fires the pass left wing over to Jones. Jones turns the corner, drives downhill to the rim. Jones, no good, came up short. And it will be going in Tennessee's direction. That's a Purdue... Going to give him an offensive foul here? I don't know about that. Wow. Yeah, they're going to give this to Tennessee right now. It's, okay, they're, yeah, wow. They gave it on Kaufman and Ren inside the key, trying to clear the pathway for Lance Jones off the dribble. So, offensive foul committed by Kaufman and Ren for Purdue. I think they got it statted wrong in the CBS box score because I'm Pretty certain they upped it to 7 on Tennessee. Tennessee's got 6 falls. Purdue should have 4. Missed shot inside by Tennessee. Purdue comes up with a defensive rebound. Here's a 3 straight away. Smith. And he drills it. That's the first 3 of the game right there. Braden Smith in the 7th 3-point shot attempt for Purdue. 10-15. Left to go in the first now. Tie game. Tennessee with a possession. Ziegler dribbles up inside the key. Moves it off to Adu. Floats up the shot. Missed another one. 
Well, Adu has got to get to the rim. He keeps on taking like 12 foot floaters. He keeps on missing those right now. Gives Purdue signs of life in this game. Smith got stripped. Edie, right place, right time. The big fella off the hook shot just down low. Able to connect on it. 19 17 for Purdue. Five zip run coming back from the timeout. Seven zip run in the last three and a half minutes. Tennessee. That's been the issue with them this season offensively. They've gone on lengthy scoring droughts, and now they're on a four-and-a-half-minute scoring drought. Ziegler circling around inside the key. Bounce pass. Adu. Adu back in his way. Lost the handle. Adu come in, came up with it. Passed it to the wrong player. Intercepted by Purdue. Smith came up with a steal. Passes ahead across the floor. Gillis outside finds his teammate. Miles Colvin rises for the deep two jumper. Missed off the rim out of bounds. Tapped out. Last touch by Tennessee. So it's going to stay Purdue basketball right now. 9-16 left to go. First half. Sloppy, sloppy for Tennessee recently in these possessions. Jonas Adu needs to get to the rim more. He's trying to play a style of game similar to Oso Iguodaro Marquette. And he's looking to put up like 13-foot floaters. And he keeps on missing. It's not his game. You have to power your way down inside a low post. Gonzaga is finding ways to get slip past Ed in the first half. And he's got to feel... He's going to see if he can crack the code, do the same right now. Purdue gets the inbound across the floor off to Smith. Smith towards his left, brings along a double team at the top. And wow, that was not a good pass right there out of bounds. That was in between a pass and a shot by Breeden Smith. Not exactly sure what that was. It hit the bottom part of the netting, crashed into the stanchion for the ball, and that went out of bounds. That was in between a pass to ED underneath the hoop and a shot right there. Not not sure what he was trying to do. Way too much with it, though. Tennessee with the ball right back off the Purdue turnover. Two turnovers by Purdue, just one by Tennessee. Ziegler, top of the key. 12 in the shot clock, going to slow it down here for the Vols. Ziegler looking to move it off. Somebody's going to get open. He finds Jordan James, skips it out to the wing. Here's a three. That's good. That was Jordan James who made the three. It was number 35, Colin Coyne, who received the first initial pass, recorded the assist off to Jordan James. So now Tennessee with a one-point lead, 20-19. Jordan James has been big. Second main three this game, perfect. Two for two with six points. Deflected on the entry pass down low that Edie gets in, intercepted by Tennessee. Vescovy moves it up the floor here to Ziegler. Vescovy, Ziegler, Awaka, Jordan James... Is on the floor and Colin Coyne. That's the five players currently in the court for Tennessee. James with eight minutes left to go. Moves it off to Vescovy outside Jordan James. Vescovy again, 10 in the shot clock. Over to Ziegler, the quarter. Step back three to air. He delivers. Zakai Ziegler puts Tennessee up by four. Tennessee is nailing their threes in this one so far. Five for eight from the perimeter. Purdue with possession. Smith dribble, drive, splits defenders right to the rim. He scores up and through. It's good for two by Smith. That's an urgent possession right there by Braden Smith, able to capitalize. Nine points, able to see an opening, slicing two defenders, took it a distance. Awaka has it at the top for Tennessee. Now it's Meshack, moves it off to his teammate at the wing here with it, Jordan James. Down low, Jordan James, turn around, and he drills the two. 20. Oh, they called it a two before that. 25 21. They've downgraded the last one to a two for Tennessee. So, not a three. His foot was on the line. So, correction on the scoreboard is 25 21. Catch and fire for the tie. Lance Jones over the cylinder. No good as he airballed it. Too strong. As it goes back to Meshack here with the ball. Tennessee up the floor. Correction on that. That was Meshack. I thought it was 35. I was like, why would Coin be playing? Because he's only averaging like a point per game. It's Meshack who's on the floor. 15, not 35. Uh, numbers a little tight together right there. Bounce pass over to Awaka as he got stripped up in the air. Lost the handle. Turned it over. Up the floor with Fletcher Lawyer. Lawyer attacks downhill to the rim. No good. Too strong off the glass. Missed it. Out in transition. Tennessee with a possession. Jordan James had an open Vescovy across the floor. Didn't give, him to, give it to him though. Ziegler. Slows it down. 6.15 left to play. Ziegler dribbles behind his back. Floats to the runner. Mid-range. That is well short, but in the motion, he was knocked down and fouled. And this is going to be two shots coming up at the free throw line for Zakai Ziegler. Takes us to the media timeout as well. Both of these teams playing for quite a bit of time. Tennessee by four, plus two free throws. Coming up out of the break right now. As uh, we will take the timeout here. 25-21 Tennessee. 
Let's uh, let's see what we got. Brock on the stream. Welcome back in. Uh, peace and peace and light. Glad to have you back in the stream once again here. Hey, what's good, Ty, uh, Tycoon's back on the stream. Welcome aboard, everybody. Happy Easter. If you're new in the channel, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And uh, right now, we head off to the timeout. 6-10 left to play before halftime. Really physical game, more so for Tennessee so far. Making this game tough down low. Uh, this is this is good for Tennessee. I mean, they, they went on like a four and a half plus minute scoring drought. And he's still sustaining right now a four point lead. And Dalton Connect hasn't scored in a while. He was substituted and uh, headed back to the bench during that last rotation. Yet Tennessee was able to keep keep that lead. This is all going to depend if Purdue can make their threes. Right now, the top three-point shooting team in the country is stone cold from the perimeter and half one. They're one for seven from three. They've also turned it over three times. They don't turn it over too, too often in Tennessee with their pressure defense. Uh, they got guys that get up right, right into the grill, the ball handlers. They're giving Purdue a couple issues with that so far in this game. And for the most part, Tennessee's done a good job staying out of foul trouble. Yeah, Tennessee's picked up six personal fouls. One per each player. Purdue is up to now four. Last time these two teams faced against each other it was Tennessee who committed 30 fouls in that Maui Invitational game. Two guys fouled out between the Adu and the Waka, and then Purdue had 21 as a team. Ed picked up four in the last game. Ed had 23 points, 10 rebounds, seven for 10 shooting. Foster uh, Fletcher Lawyer had 27 points in that game. Hasn't really been able to provide anything so far today. Fletcher Lawyer is here for three. He's going to have to be the X factor because Braden Smith, he's, he's still been able to deliver with nine right now, which is pretty good for him considering that he's taking on Zakai Ziegler as his primary defender. Fletch, Fletcher Lawyer, though, has started to uh, get a little cold recently. Um, actually, not really. Like, efficiently, he's been playing well just smaller point totals than what he's usually been able to produce he had 10 against Gonzaga he went four for seven so yeah he, he's still producing solid solid there by lawyer in terms of efficiency efficiency lately but uh oh uh, it was the big 10 champion uh big 10 tournament one he had just nine points on one for four yeah a couple of games closing out the the big 10 tournament Michigan State and Wisconsin. He was struggling. Just five points against Michigan State, nine against Wisconsin. In the tournament, though, eight in the first round against Grambling. He hasn't attempted many shots, but he, he's been open. It's just if he'll make those or not, that's the question. Because he had 27 the last time he faced Tennessee. And uh, Tennessee's trying to do all they can to take away Smith and then limit Edie as much as possible that they're going to need a third option to step up. What's well, good, Southern Reflections in the stream? Welcome in. We got two free throws here at the line for Tennessee. Back from the timeout for Zakai Ziegler. First one's good. Tennessee is playing their best game of their lives right now. I mean, just incredible effort what they've done defensively in this this one. Second free throw missed by Ziegler. Tapped out to the perimeter. Ziegler trying to track it down. He does. That's all heart. That's all hustle right there by Ziegler. Came up. With the offensive rebound, and Purdue commits the reach and foul. So that is charged the Lawyer at the midcourt logo as Ziegler came up with the ball, and then Lawyer bumped him in from behind. After Ziegler retrieved the ball, and Zakai Ziegler, he is just all heart right now on the floor for Tennessee. This is a really just experienced Tennessee squad that they have eight seniors total. On the roster. 
This is a little bit more of a difficult matchup. Smith in the backcourt with Lawyer. Both of them are only sophomores. Outside, Connect pulls up for a three from the corner. He rattles it in. 29-21 Tennessee. 13 and a board for Dalton Connect. He's perfect right now from three. Tennessee is playing their best game all season long right now, right here when it matters the most. Top of the key, ED. Hands it off to Lawyer. Dribbles up to the right elbow. Lawyer. Tennessee is bringing physicality. He takes on Vescovy to lob down low to Edie. Edie brings along a double team at the low block. Kicks it out quarter. Lawyer lob Edie. Six in the shot clock. Edie underneath. Edie no good off the mark. Edie couldn't come down with a rebound. And it goes right back to Tennessee for the defensive reward. Tennessee in a 12-2 run right now. Vescovy dribbles out. Floats up the runner. No good off the mark. Got his own rebound. Quarter three connect. Oh, he hits it. Dalton connects. Swoosh. Splashes down another triple for the All-American. 32 to 21 Tennessee. And a timeout taken on the floor by Matt Painter. Tennessee right now is all heart. Out hustling Purdue by a landslide in this game. Purdue struggling to box out, struggling to rebound the last couple possessions. The 50 50 balls are all going towards Tennessee. And Tennessee is just simply out hustling Purdue right now on the floor. 5-11 left to go before halftime. What a start for Tennessee in this game. Like, they're playing their best basketball in this one right now, right here. Tennessee's a top five interior defense this season, too, and they're making things very difficult down low for Edie. Edie, 50% shooting, 10 points, 4 for 8. Their perimeter guys haven't got anything going. One for seven. They've had a couple open looks. Just haven't been able to make those shots. Yeah, what a start for Tennessee. Jason on the stream, welcome in. Bobby on the channel, welcome on board. Liking Tennessee for this one. Hit us up in the chat. Who you guys like to win this game here, Tennessee or Purdue? What a start for the Vols now. I'd still go with UConn in my opinion, but stranger things have happened. UConn just looks incredibly dominant. Tennessee is so hungry. So, so hungry to get back. Or to get to the Final Four for the first time ever. The deepest run they had is right here, right now. This year, and also 2010, they went to the Elite Eight. They've never been to the Final Four. And uh, adding a piece like Dalton Connect in the offseason, massive for a Tennessee team that's always been great defensively, big spark offensively, Connect's playing one hell of a game right now. He's got 16, 6 for 9 shooting, perfect 4 for 4 from 3. Just a plethora of rebounds recently. For them, they were minus four on the glass going to the last timeout. Now they're minus one for Tennessee. So they made up a deficit gap on the rebounds. And they're just simply out hustling Purdue right now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I was, I I didn't look to see where that was. But, um, so, it, yeah, so it's in Phoenix there. The average in the Cardinal Stadium. Yeah, that's awesome. That's going to hold like 70,000 plus fans in it. Steven, welcome back in. He's got the Vols for this one. Largest lead of the game for Tennessee. Yeah, so it's only UConn that's left out of the Big East. Creighton lost to Tennessee. Marquette lost to NC State. So it's just UConn, that's all. 32-21 now. Just about five minutes left to go. Urgent possession. They take it a distance for Purdue. Coast to coast off the inbound. Fletcher Lawyer finally in the board. Scores his first two today. Nine-point game. Tennessee in a 15-4 run right now. Yeah, UConn hasn't, like, got on a plane. But by the time they get on the plane for the Final Four, it'll be the first time in, like, a 30-day span. So they, the last time they got on the plane was going to Marquette in Wisconsin. They had a game in Providence that's a bus ride for the final game of the, se 
season at Providence as ED dunks at home, 32-25 now. And then the game's over in the Madison Square Garden um, for Big East, the Big East tournament. Then they stayed in uh, New York for Brooklyn for the first two rounds and then over in Boston for the Sweet 16 Elite 8. Tennessee just turned it over. Wow, here comes Purdue. Looking to tighten up the gap here. ED wide open underneath Tennessee. Not playing their style of basketball. Previous two possessions. And Purdue's making them pay. Still got a long way to go. Connect. Try to come down with it down the near side. Off the loose ball. And last touched it out of bounds. Things are well. Michael on the street. Welcome back in. Happy Easter to everybody out there. Edie and Smith have combined for 21. The rest of the team with just four. Smith. Down low, dumps it off to Edie. Edie got his strip, stole away, swiped away by Jordan James. Loose ball, though, as Jordan James lost it and gets tied up with Edie. A big fellow forces the tie-up, and it will be possession arrow Purdue. Costly possession right there for Tennessee. They had a fast break with numbers, too. For Purdue, that's a very, very lucky opportunity to get the basketball back. We'll see if they can capitalize right here. Both teams with six personal fouls. Down to 403 left to go before half. Purdue hanging in, down by seven. If they can draw up a three off this inbound quickly, this could help out the cause here for Purdue. Lance Jones into the hands here of Smith. Smith moves it out to the left wing. Gillis, 40% three point shooter this season. Yet to make one today, today, though. Edie hands it off. Lawyer turns the corner, drives downhill to the rim. Wide open, scores with a right-hand layup. Nobody there to rotate over for Tennessee's defense. It's a five-point game. Tennessee, that's the second time it's happened defensively. Miscommunication right there. Off the dribble drive. Connect, rises for the two. No good off the back heel. Rebound secured defensively by Gillis. Up the floor, they look to push it for Purdue. Here goes Smith with it. Smith dribbles back out around the perimeter. Takes the three at the top before we have a foul. And that's going to be number seven. Picked up charge to Tennessee away from the basketball. So Purdue is going to head to the bonus here coming up after the timeout. And we're under four. So that means another media timeout right now. 323 left to go. Tennessee. Their 11 point lead. It's dwindled all of a sudden down to just five. I took Purdue for this one. Um, we'll see what happens here. Tennessee out to a great start. A couple sloppy possessions coming back from the last time out for them, though. A couple of miscommunication defensive issues that they had that they gave up open layups to. Yep, stores west. Yes, I'll be doing the Duke-NC State game too, so feel free to join in if you guys would like for uh, Duke versus NC State after this one. Yeah, thank, uh, thanks, Decoy. Best of luck out there too, man. Tennessee's got off to a really solid start. I think it's all going to depend. If Purdue starts to make their threes, then things are going to flip in the switch of, the, of Purdue's favor. But right now, they've yet to make, make any. Both teams came out red hot in the second half, their last game. I'm just... I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, how Purdue came out and just shredded Gonzaga in the second half on Friday. I mean, that, that was impressive. I thought Gonzaga had like a legitimate chance because they had improved all throughout the course of the year. Their issue was foul trouble. Got into a lot of foul issues with front court guys in that game. And Trey Kaufman Wren just picked up his, or uh, he, he's got two for Purdue. So foul trouble right now. Kaufman Wren's got two for Purdue. Everybody else with one or zero. Toby Awaka has two for Tennessee. The, the big key for Tennessee is making sure that Jonas Adu doesn't get into foul trouble for him. Because they go with a starting lineup of four guards and one front court guy. And um, he's the lone front court player that starts. Awaka's got two. 
That's that's critical. He has to stay away too because he's the backup big man on the team for Tennessee. Hey, what's good? Ward on the stream. Welcome back in. Happy Easter, team man. It's just incredible what NC State has done. They had the five games in five days to win the ACC tournament. I didn't even realize it till yesterday. I was scrolling through my news feed. I saw a graphic that NC State, they were tied with Louisville. It was 75-75 with four and a half left to play in the, f in the first round of the ACC tournament. They were tied with Louisville, four and a half minutes left, able to outlast the cards, win that game. Won their second game and uh, won five in a row to win and then won the conference championship. Won three in a row to get to the Elite Eight today. Zach Eady here at the free to line. First one's good. Down by four now. They trail by 11 at one point. We see the follow chumble numbers up on the screen. Kaufman ran with two for Purdue and then Awaka has two currently in the bench for Tennessee. Second free throw is good. Three point game now. Eight zip run by Purdue. Tennessee had been playing incredible basketball, but last three, four possessions, especially defensively, they have not looked the part to themselves. Connect got stripped. He turns it over, and Tennessee picks up a reach and foul in their backcourt. Mayshack reaches in. That's his second, and this will send Lawyer to the free to line. So that's all around just a bad possession. Both sides of the ball. Connect went up. Swarm by three defenders, got it stripped. Lawyer came up with a steal, and Lawyer got pushed from the back and followed. That's now number eight charge to Tennessee. Lawyer now on the one and one bonus. Mayshack's got two now for him, so he has to take a seat on the bench. Yeah, UConn is just a machine out there. Um, I want the cat. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in. First one's good. Yeah, NC State beat Duke. So that was uh that was their third ACC tournament game. They beat Duke. They banked in the three to beat Virginia or uh, they banked the three to force overtime against Virginia in the ACC semis and beat North Carolina. Both of the shots were good at the line for Lawyer. One point game right now. Vescovy bounce pass down to the low block. AD dribbles back outside. Hand off Kodak. Spots up for the three. Takes it. Off the mark. No good. He's missed his two previous threes after starting off. Perfect from the perimeter for Vescovy. Or uh, perfect from the perimeter by Connect starting off this game. 15 to 2 run at one point for Tennessee. They led by 11, and now Purdue goes on a 10 zip run. Trail by one. Look at the take the lead right there. They do. Edie inside the low post, banks it home up and then off the glass. 33 32, a game of runs right now. Tennessee in another massive scoring drought. Bad pass down low. Intercepted by Purdue. We get a scrum for the basketball. Edie tied up with the floor. The big fill again and tied up with Vescovy. Possession arrow will go to Tennessee. What a hustle there by Vescovy. That clearly looked like it was going to be a Purdue steal. They tried to thread the needle. Gillis tipped it, got deflected back to Edie, and then Edie fell down backside, got tied up with Vescovy. That's a huge 50-50 ball won by Tennessee there. So Tennessee will get the inbound underneath their hoop. Tennessee has been able to battle and win most of those 50-50 balls. Wide open three, Vescovy off the inbound, and he couldn't send it down. Rebound by Edie. 2.10 left to go. Tennessee 7 for 13 for the perimeter. Purdue's just 1 for 7. Yet they have a 1 point lead right now because another 4 minute plus scoring drought for Tennessee. Taking it right to the rim. And Braden Smith absorbs contact and is fouled. So Smith here will shoot 2 at the line for Purdue. I believe that's going to be on Ziegler off the drive by Smith. That's now number 9 picked up as a team for Tennessee. They're starting to pile on the fouls right now at the moment. Braden Smith's got nine. Yeah, this game's really getting physical here. First shot, no good. Missed off the front room by Smith. It was on Ziegler. Ziegler picked up the last foul. That's his first for today for Zakai Ziegler. So 
Second shot, no good. Missed the line by Smith. We got bodies flying everywhere right here. Again. Possession arrow Purdue this time. Another tie up off the missed free throw. Both teams are going at it, trying to battle for the rebounds. Multiple bodies going everywhere here. Around the rim and out, missed. And Gillis in the hard way to Edie. Also back on the deck. Tangled up. What a battle right now. Two minutes left to go. 33 Purdue, 32 Tennessee. If you're just joining in, Purdue trailed by 11. The score is 32 to 21. And Purdue has gone in a 12 zip scoring run in the, approximately the last five minutes. Purdue also gets this inbounds. Lawyer inbounds it over to Edie. Backs his way. Moves it out to the wing. Slicing defenders. Jones. Skip pass in the quarter. Smith. Kick out top of the wing. Dribbling up off the drive here. Downhill. Got rejected. Fletcher Lawyer just got rejected downhill. Ziegler came up with a basketball in the quarter and a loose ball foul committed by Purdue. That's number seven. This is going to send Tennessee to the bonus. What a physical game right now. Bodies flying everywhere. That was Connect who got a piece of that ball. So he tried to drive in between Connect, Jordan James, and then Ziegler came up with it in the corner. Huge block by Dalton. Connect denying Fletcher Lawyer. Zakai Ziegler, 1-1 one one bonus now for Tennessee. Looking for some points now, and they don't miss the 1-1 one one at the line for Ziegler. They go empty. The scoring drought continues, last 3.5 plus minutes. Purdue with the possession will slow it down. They look to play their style. Top of the key here with Gillis. Lobs it over to Edie. Edie backs his way top of the free throw circle. Hand off to Lawyer. Lawyer towards his right. Bounce pass down low. Edie underneath. Edie doubled and Edie gets fouled. That's on Edie. That's number two. That's a very, very tough call going up. Right there for Edie. Really difficult call. I know Edie's trying to post down low. Wow. Really isn't much contact there. Referees blowing the whistle. Wasn't really much contact to Edie. And Adu now picks up number two, and that cannot happen for Tennessee. Audrey in the stream, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Glad to have you in the channel. Yeah, feel free to join back in later today. I plan on being back covering NC State against Duke. So Edie will head to the line. And this is now the double bonus for Purdue. So Tennessee over the limit right now just picked up their 10th as a team. So Zach Edie will shoot two. First one, no good. Got multiple missed free throws as elite in this game. Adu will take a seat on the bench with 124 left. Vescovy will as well. Adu, Awaka, and Meshack all have two right now for Tennessee. Second free throw came off the rib short. Edie missed it at the line, but he's going to redo. Tennessee committed a lane violation. Let's see. Yeah, Tennessee. It's going to be Edie again at the free throw line. So he redues the free throw and he gets it that time. That's that's a big point right there. 34-32. Tennessee was up by 11. They haven't moved the needle point-wise in over five minutes right now. Connect. Look at the change that. Jumper for the tie. No good. Bricked it too long. Rebound secure by Purdue. What a comeback here by Purdue. Final minute left to go before halftime. They were trailing 32-21. to 21. They've rattled off 13 straight. Looking to make it 16-3. to 3. No good miss straight away. Offensive rebound back to Smith. Smith to the right wing. Sends it on top over to Jones. Lance Jones drives up to the elbow. Jones pivot. Z dribbles baseline. Got knocked down. No call. And here goes Tennessee. They got numbers. Up the floor. Connect. Takes the distance with a two-hand and flush. A steal and a dunk right there. 34 even right now in the final 30 seconds left to play. 
Smith, bounce pass top of the key, Gillis. Towards his left, lobs it down to the mid-block, Edie. Edie, off the hook shot, no. Oh, yeah, got down three times. That bounced off the back rim right there by Zach Edie. Wow, what a bounce it took, able to get that one to drop. I thought it was going to bounce right out of there. 14.8 left to go. 36-34. Wow. Generous bounce. Two or three times off the back heel. Bouncing, 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 and finally dropped itself into the netting. Wow. I, I thought on initial release that for sure that shot would have been too strong. Holy smokes. Did that take a, a big time tra trajectory into the bottom of the net right there for Zach Eady? 19-9 in the first half by Eady right now on 7 for 11 shooting smith's got nine smith limited to just two assists in this game yet somehow purdue finding ways tennessee is scoring droughts crushing them on another lengthy scoring drought dalton connects 18 points trying to do everything himself other players have to step up eight points by jordan james and then after that four by ziegler connect is over half of the points for tennessee So 14.8 seconds left to go. Tennessee has made, has scored 21 points via three. Is Purdue just three for the top three-point shooting team in the country? Just one for seven from three. It's 24 to eight points in the paint in favor of Purdue. Here we go. Inbound for Tennessee. Final 14 seconds. Shot clock's turned off. Ziegler on top over to connect. Connect. Torres is left around the perimeter. Dribbles up now. Low block. Puts up the shot. No good off the mark. Tipped off the front rim. Missed by Tennessee. Right before the buzzer by J.P. Estrella. And we go into halftime. And Purdue has got a two-point lead. 36-34 right now. As we enter half in this game. And what a comeback for Purdue. Tennessee there. Their issues this season are heavily in the offensive side of the ball when they've gone on scoring droughts. And right now, they enter halftime on just a massive one. Major run by Purdue to close out the first half. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams I cover on the channel. And I'll be back later today. I plan on covering Duke against NC State after this one, tipping off just past 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you like to, feel free to join back in for the final stream later today to see who will go to the final four. Jared, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, good numbers on this one right now. We got 70 plus watching, and thanks all for tuning in, being a part on the channel. For uh, all the first timers here, really appreciate it. Finding my stream. What a comeback by Purdue, and doing it without making their threes right now. This has been impressive. One for eight from three. Uh, at one point, Tennessee was simply out hustling, hustling Purdue on loose balls, 50-50 uh, balls rebounds but Purdue lately is just taking the glass by storm 25 to 16 for Purdue Tennessee's had a lot of a lot of tough whistles go against them and they're gonna have to avoid foul foul issues to win this game Jonas AD goes into half with two personal fouls uh two fouls committed by Meshack as well same as Toby Awaka so three guys with two and for Purdue it's just Trey Kaufman Wren he's the lone player who has two right now for Purdue. Purdue today just torching Tennessee points in the paint. It's 24 to 8. And on the opposite side, Tennessee is making their threes. Like in the first 10 minutes, they were playing by far the the best best game that they had all season long based on the first 10 minutes of the start. But you gotta keep on sustaining that. That's only 10 minutes. It's not the full 40. If you're Tennessee, Connect was drilling shots left and right to begin. Um, Ziegler was out hustling other players of the opposite team and coming up with loose balls. They, they had forced five turnovers in the first half. And 
connect leads the way. He's got 18 at halftime, 4 for 5 from 3, 7 for 14 from the floor. What's good, Lonely Satellite? Welcome in. Thanks for joining in with a dono. We got a uh, sister surround back in the stream. Really appreciate it with a dono. Legend here in the channel. Yeah, no problem. Best of luck to your stream there, Bryce. Really, really good game so far. I mean, Tennessee had had that. They they had it. They they were up 32 to 21. Everything was cooking for Tennessee, and then the issue has been scoring droughts for them this year. They'll go, um, they'll go on runs, and then they'll go on scoring droughts, and those scoring droughts become lengthy. And they've had a lot of issues stacking, stacking baskets together, and that's been the problem. They've gone on two lengthy scoring droughts of four minutes plus in this game. And they, they they don't have any momentum going into half for Tennessee. Purdue, it was 32-21. Yeah, Purdue has outscored Tennessee now 15-2. So 15-2 going into half. What has been the Purdue run after being down by 11? Tennessee's never been to the Final Four before, so this is their deepest run right now. Currently, this year, and also 2010, they made it to the Elite Eight twice as a program. Purdue hasn't gone to the Final Four since 1980 for them, so it's 1969 and 1980 for Purdue. They were runner-up in 1969. They've never won the championship before. But they've been in the Elite Eight quite a bit. 2019 with Carson Edwards was the last time. Lost against Virginia, which was was the national champion. 2000 was the previous time before 2019. So their Elite Eights were 1969, 1980, 1994, 2000, and 2019, and now this year. Yeah, Edie and Connect for Tennessee. They got to get more players involved, though, because Edie's getting his points. Braden and Smith's been huge. They have a second option right now. Smith's got nine points. I mean, that's surely good enough considering he's just three for four, and Ziegler's doing his best trying to lock him up. But other guys really have to come alive, too, for Purdue. Fletcher Lawyer, six points. He was silent through the first, like, 12 minutes he had no points for Fletcher Lawyer and then he finally has six points in the last eight minutes of the first half. Lance Jones yet to score today. No points for him at halftime. Trey Kaufman ran just with two. No bench points for Purdue. Tennessee has two bench points with Toby Awaka. Tennessee's going to really get other players scoring in this game. Connects got 18. Jordan James got out to an excellent start. He has eight. For him, hasn't scored in a while, but he's perfect from the floor. Three for three, hitting two corner threes by Jordan James. Bayshack's having a tough game, just two points. Ziegler's got four. So yeah, it's 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 uh it's been a really good game here. Physical. If Purdue comes out firing, making their threes in the second half, this one could get ugly. Because I, I was really just impressed what they did against Gonzaga. That that was super impressive what they did Friday night. Like That was an awesome first half. It was going back and forth, back and forth. Gonzaga was staying right with Purdue. And then second half, Purdue was just nailing threes. They got Gonzaga into deep foul trouble and just took it by storm. Yeah, happy Easter. Charlisa on the stream, welcome in. Thanks all for joining in. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope your Easter Sunday is going well. Yeah, Tennessee's defense was hanging in with Edie early on. They were making it physical, and Edie was missing shots early on. He was uh, 5 for 10 to begin. He's now up to 
Actually, they have a stat at 7 for 11. In interesting. Yeah, I'm going off ESPN stats. It, it was 5 for 10 at one point. So they must have took off a bucket and put one in. Because that would make no sense why he's up to 7 for 11 right now. But that's what the number is according to ESPN. I, a, a couple times they've stat they statted things wrong. So I've tried to follow and uh, give you guys updates off of their websites. But from time to time, especially this game, they've had a couple follow numbers wrong compared to CBS. And it's happened throughout the tournament too with um, a lot of the games. I, I've noticed too, yesterday they gave... What was it? Alabama. I think they gave him like a free bucket yesterday. C C B CBS had issues with their scoreboard again today, where they gave um they they gave the wrong team a bucket. They did that last night as well. There was a stretch in this game that Tennessee was playing like look like their best basketball all season when they stretch their lead to 11 that's what they're gonna have to get back to and play that stretch of basketball in this game once again you the legend warren thanks so much man appreciate it brother let's get that dono hype for warren on the stream Like during that stretch when Tennessee went on the scoring run, they were going they got all the 50-50 balls. There was one that Ziegler came up with an offensive rebound, out hustled everybody. Purdue was getting out hustled everywhere. Just gonna see where I can go back to that stretch of the game. So um Tennessee took its first lead with fifteen twenty five left. They led eleven to ten. They stretched the lead the lead to seventeen to twelve, seventeen fourteen it went to, and then Purdue took it back nineteen to seventeen. Okay, so this was okay, I see where it was. Um So Purdue had scored two points winning. Within a three minute span, and Tennessee had outscored Purdue 13 2. So it was 21 19 to Purdue, and then Tennessee took the lead 32 21 during a, approximately a three minute stretch from the eight minute mark to the five minute mark, forcing a Purdue timeout. And during that part, that's when Tennessee was playing incredible basketball. Connect made two threes in a row, Jordan James made a three from the corner. That Took the lead for Tennessee with 8.36 left. 20-19. to 19. Ziegler, yeah, he made a 3-2. They were making threes early on in this game for Tennessee. And then... And then there were a bunch of, like, loose balls that Tennessee just out-hustled Purdue for. Came up with the 50-50 balls. Already had the possession arrow for on, um, on one of those. That there was, like, bodies flying everywhere. Connect and made, yeah, he made two threes winning a 45 second clip for Connect. The score got pushed from 26 to 20, uh, it was 26 to 21 up to 29 21, and then he made the second one, making it 32 21 for Connect. That forced the timeout, and then after that, it's been a 15 to 2 run by Purdue in the final five minutes. What's good, Cody in the stream? Welcome in, no problem, man. Hope uh, your Easter's going well and enjoy the rest of your holiday there, brother. Oh, sorry to hear, Bryce. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get more coming up in the second half. Yeah, it takes a while to build an audience. Like, I, I can definitely tell you that. It took so long to build an audience. I started this channel off in 2019. And my first tournament, I got like only like five, six people in at once watching these streams. And it, it all depends too. Sometimes I get like only five, six people in when other people um, get away with illegally streaming the games. Um, like during the regular season, that's when it hits the channel hard and not really being able to generate like quite a viewership or so. But um, luckily... For these games throughout the tournaments, I mean, it's been awesome just getting more people in 
on the channel building up the audience right now we reach we reached 25,000 subscribers a week ago like it's been incredible like this is like one of the biggest times of years in terms of growth this and also like the nba playoffs like this stretch of months like march april may and june uh this stretch right here is the biggest part of um like the growth in the channel what's good bruce in the stream welcome in hope so man yeah hopefully this is the year for boston Oh, that's awesome, Bryce. Yeah, hopefully that will be able to get some people out for your stream there. I I don't know what, like, because I know some of the college streams, people get away with illegally streaming them. I feel like this year that's been more so for my, my streams that I've done that the game's been on ESPN, that people have gotten away with streaming those games. A lot of those people have access to ESPN, so... Hopefully it doesn't happen to you right there, Bryce, that you'll be you'll hopefully be able to gain more of like a viewership, hopefully. Yeah, that was incredible. They won in a 30 to zip run yesterday. Yeah, so I um I was actually finishing up my uh work yesterday, so that's why I wasn't able to stream the UConn game yesterday. So before I left, I checked the score. The score is 28 to 23 UConn. And from what I heard, what I saw in the highlights, it was 23-23. I lit so the place that I worked at yesterday, it's around a 15-minute drive. I get back home, the score is 53 to 23 UConn. Like holy smokes, Illinois hasn't scored UConn's Picked up 30 straight points in a row. That's crazy. Just, like, incredible. Yeah, Connect's playing one heck of a game today. Fletcher Lawyer's been called so far for Purdue. They're perimeter guys. Smith's been... Solid, though. He's only attempted four shots, though. He's got nine points. Only two assists today for Smith. Tennessee's done a good job limiting his playmaking. ED at half's got a double-double. It's been basically just going, playing through ED inside the low post. 19 and 10 right now at the half for ED. But Lawyer's just two for seven, shooting six points. Lance Jones yet to score. Kaufman, Wren... Has got just two. He's only attempted one shot. Feel free to join back in. I plan on coming back for Duke versus NC State later tonight. So if you'd like to join in, that's actually this uh, later this afternoon at 5.05 p.m. So if you'd like to come on back for Duke versus NC State, feel free to do so. I think NC State has a realistic chance to beat Duke once again. NC State won the last matchup against Duke in the ACC tournament, 74-69 on March 14th. What a story for NC State. This will be their ninth game win in a 19-day span 
for NC State. They won five games in five days in a row to win the ACC championship. Crazy part about it was was that they were tied up 75-75 against Louisville with four and a half left to go. And they beat Louisville by nine, 94 to 85. Okay, I was figuring out um, who was the second team they beat in the ACC tournament. They beat Syracuse, so they eliminated Syracuse from bubble contention, 83-65. Beat Duke, 74-69. They had a bank and a three to force overtime against Virginia. So they wouldn't even, wouldn't even be here they, uh, in the uh, NCAA tournament if they hadn't banked that buzzer beater three against Virginia. 73-65, forced overtime one in overtime. Plus Virginia... What what a swing in that game for NC State. Virginia missed a free throw. Virginia was up by three with like eight seconds left in the ACC semis. Virginia missed a free throw at the line. NC State goes up the floor. They bank a three, tie the game at the buzzer, force overtime. They take all that momentum with them, win by eight in overtime against Virginia, and then they beat UNC in the ACC championship. One against Texas Tech. Rather easily, they beat them by 13 in the first round, beat Oakland in overtime in the second round, and then beat Marquette. They controlled that entire game against Marquette. They won 67 to 58 for NC State. For Duke, their their schedule has looked kind of weak for the first three teams they played in the tournament. Nothing against Houston there. I actually had Houston as my champ, but um. Jamal Shedd went down, and when that happened, that just took Houston completely out of their game. That should have not been a three-point win by Duke. They they should have crushed Houston, considering that Shedd, their top player, went down. He's the heart and soul of that team, and he just he just does so much. He's an All-American for Shedd. He went down, and Houston only loses by three. That was it on Friday. So this is this is Duke's road. To the Elite Eight today. They beat Vermont, the 13 seed, 64 47. Um, they won against James Madison. They pounded them last Sunday, 93 55. And then they beat Houston with 30 minutes approximately, which shed not on the floor, 54 51. And Houston was controlling that game. They led that game in the first 10 minutes. It was Houston 5 to zip early on. And, um, and then shed went down, and then the tides completely changed. In the favor of Duke. So I, I can picture NC State winning it. I can. Like they. Some of the previous similarities that I thought of. Right now it's got to be Oregon State. A team out of the blue that just comes out of nowhere. Oregon State from 2021 made it to the Elite Eight. 20-13. and 13. They went 10-10 10 and 10 in the Pac-12. NC State went 9-11 and 11 in the ACC. 25 and 11 currently they were the 10th place team in the ACC this season and then the other team out of the blue is UCLA they made that incredible run same tournament 2021 all the way from the playing rounds um, UCLA was trailing by 12 against Michigan State in the playing game came back and forced overtime and won against Michigan State in 2021 that sparked this incredible Final Four run. They lost against Gonzaga and Jalen Suggs in a bank buzzer beater from half court. But that uh, that Sweet 16 game, UCLA played against Alabama three years ago. Holy smokes. That was one heck of a game. I believe that went into overtime. And UCLA was able to win that one. And uh, took them all, all the way to the Final Four right there from the playing game. Just surreal moment for them. NC State looking for that type of moment later today. And uh, trying to see if they can do it two in a row against Duke. Zach Eady, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Points in the paint. That's the major factor for Purdue as they lead that number. 24 to 8 perimeter shots. 21 points via threes for Tennessee. They're 7 for 13 from three. The number one three-point shooting team in the country. Purdue limited to just one for eight from the perimeter. Dalton connects got 18 for Tennessee on four for five from three. Tennessee led by 11 at one point in this game, and now they're down by two. It's a 15 to two run by Purdue going into halftime. David on the street, welcome in. I had Purdue for this one. I was really impressed how they beat Gonzaga, how they came out in the second half. 
Zach Eady, 15 and 10 in the first half, three games in the NCAA tournament. Today he's got 19 and 10. All other players in the NCAA tournament, zero. Here we go. Start of the second half. Tennessee left to right in the floor with the basketball first. Orange jerseys for Tennessee. White numbers, white letters, Purdue. White uniforms, black numbers, black letters. With a cursive out in front, Purdue collects a steal. Smith up the floor. Pass over to Jones in transition. Scores the bucket. 38-34. Bad possession to thart, start things off for Tennessee. Par of a 17-2 run by Purdue. Tennessee with their fifth turnover of the game. Top of the key here with Ziegler. Ziegler is defended by Jones. Pass over to Connect. Connect floats it off the roll down. Adu bobbled it, got it back in play though. Out to the quarter. Connect tries a three left quarter and he splashes it. Dalton Connect trifecta from downtown. 38 37, putting his team on his back for the All American. Connect, a transfer from Northern Colorado. 8 for 14 from 3. Connect now is up to 21 total points as Purdue lost it down low. It's a turnover. Sixth turnover to game by Purdue. Lob over the top for Connect. In transition, he scores up and in off the backboard. One point lead for Rocky Top. Don't see too many turnovers this season for Purdue. Seven lead changes, four ties in this matchup. Largest lead, Tennessee by 11, Purdue by four. Smith dribbles up to the mid block. Smith lobs it down low. ED double teamed. Hook shot over. Adu connects on it. 40 to 39 right now. Back and forth, back and forth. Tennessee with a possession. What a way to begin the second half of action here. Ziegler dribbles at the right wing. He's guarded by Smith 101. Ziegler. Towards his right, switched, guarded by Lawyer. Now on the outside, it goes to Connect. Connect's working on Smith. Off the screen, set by Adu. Connect, drive, kick out to the wing. Ziegler dribbles up, floats to the runner. Deep two, bricked off the back heel. Rebound control by Kaufman. Wren up the floor for Purdue. Leading by one, Lance Jones at the right wing. Jones going to slow down tempo. Plus 10 in the glass for Purdue, 26-16. Edie hands it off to Smith. Edge of the midcourt logo. Smith got bumped into the eye. We get a foul. Picked up, charged in a reach in here to Tennessee. It's going to be picked up by Meshack. And that's on Meshack, and that will be his third. Third personal foul. He's got more fouls than points today. Two points, three personal fouls. Hi, Zam on the stream. Welcome in. Vescovy checks on the floor, replacing Meshack right now, who will take a seat on the bench. Purdue. Looking for the inbound, gets it over to Jones. Into the hands of Smith now, edge of the March Madness logo. Smith lobs it off, top of the key. Kaufman Wren, shot clock's down to eight. Towards his left, passes down low. Ed inside, bringing some physicality defensively there for AD. Runner, lawyer, no good. Offensive rebound, Ed quadruple team, Ed fouled. Two shots coming up. I believe that's going to be on Adu. If so, that's number three. Charge to Jonas Adu right there. ZD came up with the offensive rebound. Yup, that's on Adu. That's his third. Tennessee's got to avoid his foul trouble. They want to stand any chance. Adu just picked up number three. So three personal fouls between Meshack and Adu right now. And that's how Purdue was able to take Gonzaga right out of the game. Was the foul trouble same as Utah State in the game prior. Edie with his fifth straight game with 20 points and 10 rebounds. First free throw he missed at the line for Edie. Second shot by Edie. It is up. It is good. Two point lead. Brayton, what's good man? Glad to have you in the stream. Connect, moves it outside, into the hands to Ziegler, got a slow down tempo, 17 and a half left to go for Tennessee, Ziegler dribbles up, right elbow, floats at the runner, no good off the rim, short, contacted in the motion though as he gets fouled, Sakai Ziegler gonna head to the free throw line, shoot two now for Tennessee. Seventeen, nineteen left to play, it's gonna be charged to Braden Smith on the personal foul. That's going to be Smith's second right now in this game. Carly, first one, missed off the rim short. No good by Ziegler. Could come down to free throws today. Purdue is 10 for 15. Tennessee is now 3 for 5 at the free throw line. 
Second shot by Ziegler right down the middle. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams on the channel. What a start to this one here. 41-40 to 40 with just above 17 minutes left to go in the second half. Edie has it at the left wing. He's defended by Adu Moosen on top off the Trey Kaufman Wren. Kaufman Wren, shot clock down to 12. Lobs it down low, finds Edie. Edie underneath the low post, held up and followed. Now, Adu was in the area. If that's a foul on him, that's number four. Yeah, we're going to have a substitute coming into this game. Adu just picked up his fourth. Or that's going to be his third. Okay, that's his third. Check that. That is three. They put on the graphic on the screen. So three by Adu just substituted out of the game. Under 17 left to go. Inbound. Edie backs his way. Lobs it over to Lawyer. Lob back to Edie. So he's got three for AD right now. And another foul picked up charge to Tennessee. That's their fourth as a team. Not even four minutes into this half right now. That's charged to Awaka. That's Awaka's third. So Awaka and AD both with three right now for Tennessee for fouls. I mean, there wasn't really much right there. Inbound, Edie moves it on top. Here's a three straight away. Lawyer lets it rain. Ring around the rim. It goes in for the three ball. 44-40. 16 and a half left to play. That's a big three right there. He had been off to a slow start today. Now up to nine points, making its first three quarter. Three connects. No good around the rim and outs. Edie collects the rebound. And underneath, we get a tie-up. Possession arrow goes to Purdue. Bradley, welcome back in, man. 16-24 left to go. Wild game here if you're just joining in. Tennessee was leading by 11, 32-21. They went on a monster scoring job going into halftime. Purdue outscored Tennessee 15-2 in the final five minutes of the first half to lead at halftime, 36-34. Now Purdue leads by four with under 16 and a half left to go. Purdue with a possession. Bounce pass top of the key. Kaufman Wren. Edie looking to post up here. Lance Jones at the right wing. Edie is posting up. He is defended by Awaka. Top of the key. Jones. Hand off to Smith. Smith. Five in the shot clock. Towards his left around the perimeter. Smith takes a deep range three. Fall away. Bricked off the back rim. And connect. Collects the defensive rebound. Up the floor. Connect. Attack. Slices defenders to the cup. And connect. Gets fouled. He'll have two shots coming up at the line. That's a resilient possession right there for Dalton Connect. Yeah, things going pretty well. Happy Easter out to everybody. What a game we got. Under 16 minutes left to play. Two free throws coming up after the timeout by Dalton Connect. We will take the timeout on the floor right now. 44-40. to 40, Purdue leads by four. Tennessee looking to make some noise, keep on continuing. They've never been to the Final Four. Purdue looking for their first Final Four since 1980. Yeah, that was a strong drive right there by Connect. He split two, two players down the lane to get followed there. Um, connects carrying Tennessee. He's got 23 right now. Not too long ago, he dropped down 40 at the start of this month in the game against Kentucky. Edie's got 22 and 12 rebounds. Foul trouble right now for Tennessee, though, looks like this. Jonas Adu has three. Jemai Meshack has three. Toby Awaka has three for fouls. If you'd like to come on back for Duke against NC State, feel free to do so. I'll be back later this afternoon, slightly past 5 p.m. for Duke against NC State. What's good, Joe in the street? Welcome in, man. Things going pretty well here. 
Yeah, a lot of questionable calls going against Tennessee right now. Most of those have to do with defending Edie. Like, not, not much contact there, but they've been called on defensive fouls, grabbing a hold of Edie. Tennessee just keeps on. They're they're gonna have to keep on making as many threes as possible to overcome Purdue. Right now, that's been the huge favor for Tennessee. Tennessee's eight for fifteen from three. Connects got five made threes, and then Purdue just two for ten from three today. They're just not themselves from the perimeter. They're playing down low to Edie. ED off a kickoff or uh, kick out over to Lawyer who made the last three. So 22 and 12 by ED on the 8 for 12 shooting right now. Dalton Connect's going to head to the free to line here. He's got 23. Carrying the team. Rest of the team is 17. Two shots by Connect. First one is good. 24 now by Connect. Second shot is no good. Missed off the front rim. Tipped up, though. Tennessee able to collect the offensive rebound. Able to win that 50-50 ball. Three at the wing. Missed off the mark by Ziegler. Tipped up again, and Edie controls the defensive board. So an opportunity right there for Tennessee. They couldn't cash it in, though. That's what they need to do. They did that during a four-minute stretch they, when they simply out-hustled Purdue from multiple rebounds. Again, Tennessee's going to pick up a quick foul. Defensive side of the floor now, up to number five this half. I'm hearing it'll probably be a second round pick for Edie. That's that's what I saw looking at a lot of like the draft analysts where they have him. is probably more towards the second round for him. Lance Jones at the top here. Drives right past Jordan James straight to the cup and he scores. Wow, Jordan James tried to go at him in an angle. Just zipped right past him. Layup made by Lance Jones. That's his first basket today. No field goals in the last four minutes for Tennessee. This game's starting to slip away from Tennessee. They need a big shot here. Connect. He's the one that would do that with the honors. Connect. Dribbles up to the elbow. Swings it outside. Almost lost it with Jordan Ganey. Able to get it back though. Ziegler. Shot clock's down to five. Drives down low. Back out to the corner. Two with a shot clock. Ziegler pulls up with a three. Go broke it up by Purdue. It's a shot clock violation. It will go back to the Boilermakers. Big time defense. Right there in the corner. For Purdue is... That was just a rough, rough offensive set there for Tennessee. And Tennessee waited way too much. Waited for that clock to dwindle down. Smith has it off the inbound. Both teams with six turnovers this half. Braden Smith slows down tempo. Five-point lead for Purdue. The screen set by Edie. He rolls down. Smith dribbles up to the elbow. Boosts it outside to Lawyer. Lawyer with 10 on the shot clock. Over to the top, Jones. Flings it off, Gillis. Lobs it down to the low block, Edie. Back out, left corner. Gillis gets covered, though, by Jordan James. Outside to the top, Lance Jones. An open three. No good off the rim. Offensive rebound, Edie. Missed off the mark. Fizzle. Physical defensive hand in the face right there by Jordan James. Another missed three. Results in an offensive rebound. And then a loose ball foul. Charge to Tennessee. Picked up by Awaka. I believe that's going to be that's going to be his third for Toby Awaka. That's going to be his fourth actually. Check it. Yeah, my box said 3, but I'm I'm pretty sure it was 4 before that. The refresh maybe that's why. Yep, that is now number 4. A so A do and Mayshack with 3. Awaka just picked up his fourth. So he takes a seat on the bench for a while. 
Under 14 minutes left to play here. Inbound off the baseline. Dribble goes. Lawyer missed off the mark. ED tips it in. They're going to count it or no? No, they will not. They will not count the tip in. That's a real late whistle. That's that's charged to Ziegler on the first shot attempt by Lawyer. Missing off the glass. That's a really late whistle right there by the officials. There'll be two free throws in the line, and the first one was missed by Lawyer. Number 23 for Purdue checks in. Camden Hyde back onto the floor. Second free throw is good. I gotta put up the bonus right now. We're just like... Six minutes plus in the second half, and Purdue's already into the bonus here. Tennessee with possession. Jordan James, handoff to connect. Connect, dribbles down the hole, and missed the layup. A lot of contact right there. No call, but the referees on Purdue's defense. Off fake of the corner, wide open three. Gillis, no good. Skidded off the rim out of bounds. Wow, that, that would have been a monster three if he made it. Tennessee really really lucky they're hanging in this game right now only down by six if you make that one then it's starting to slip from Tennessee it would put them down by nine so that's that's a big miss right there 15% today from three 41% the top three point shooting team in the nation Ziegler outside finds Ganey Ganey steps into a three he draws it 47-44 Big response back at the offensive side for Tennessee. That is one they, they really needed. They were on another scoring job. They meant on three scoring jobs today. Deflected. Intercepted at midcourt. Ziegler takes the distance with a layup. One point game right now. Purdue with a poor pass right there up the court. Ziegler up to seven now. Smith. He'll try it again. Has it at the midcourt logo. Five steals by Tennessee. Tennessee's got... Points off of turnovers that they racked up in this game. I believe if they scored eight points off of Purdue turnovers today. Jumper to elbow. It is good. Jumper is made by Purdue. Fletcher Lawyer up to 12. 49-46. Down low. Tennessee missed off the glass. Off the mark by Ganey. And it goes right back over to Purdue for the rebounds. Plus 15 in the glass for Purdue in this game right now. 34-19. Smith pass off the roll down. And Edie drills the two right over Jordan James. Nobody able to cover him down inside a low post right now. Zach Edie is just torching Tennessee defensively. 24-15 and, and 15 by Edie for points and rebounds. The pull-up J straight away. Missed off the mark by Ziegler. And Edie just secured his 16th rebound. Under 12 minutes left to play. Down by five for Tennessee. Purdue with a possession. Smith dribbles up to the elbow. Bounce pass down low. Edie eating down low and he gets followed. And that'll be charged to J.P. Estrella for Tennessee. Who he came into the game averaging under two points per game for Estrella. Rick Barnes cannot, cannot believe all these calls going against Tennessee right now on the floor. They're trying to play Edie the best possible that they can, but... These whistles keep on keep on going and produce favor right now on the floors. We'll take the timeouts. Zach Eady's going to head to the free to line and the bonus coming up out of the timeout here. 51-46. Purdue leads by five. These are some tough calls against Tennessee. Like, there's really not much contact there when they're defending Eady. Like, they're doing everything they can, and yet Tennessee just keeps on... Keeps on having the calls go against them today. Got some light in here right now. Um, got a little dark outside. Try to do as much I could without the light. Usually I have the light for all the night games or so. But since this was like an early day game, I decided not to. But get some brightness in here for the final... 11 plus if you're new in the stream smash the thumbs up hit the like hit the subscribe ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams and the channel that i cover dalton connects got 24 everybody else though with single digits for tennessee jordan james is eight 
That was early on. He looked great from three, but hasn't really been getting the ball often offensively anymore. Edie with 24 points, 16 boards. And then 12 by Fletcher Lawyer right now. And yet they've had a super off game from three. They're two for 13 from three. And even with that, they're up by, by five currently. Yeah, UConn just looks like they're on another level. Like, they're... They're incredible how how they come out in the second half. I've I've seen them trail early on. Like they they were down against Providence fifteen to two. They came back and smashed PC. The first game of the Big East tournament, they were down. I think it was nine to zero against Xavier, and they destroyed Xavier. Like they they're just so good in the second half. Tennessee just has to get away from all these scoring droughts that they've had. This, these fall issues are certainly not helping out the cause either. That's how Purdue has eliminated team after team in this tournament, is just get them into foul trouble. Uh, Toby Owaka, four personal fouls, three by Adu, three by Meshack, and then two each between Ziegler and James right now. For Purdue, nobody has three. Two each between Kaufman, Wren, Smith and Lawyer. Zach Eady has yet to even commit a foul in this game. Monster game with 24 and 16. Yeah, I actually had a turkey dinner right before the stream for Easter. So, Zach Eady will shoot shots here at the free to line. Probably going to have some sort of snack in between streams here. First shot missed by Eady. Hey, what's good? Hockey from home. Welcome in. Second shot's good by Edie. Those uh, back to back Sweet 16 games were uh, tough ones at night. On uh, the Thursday one specifically, because I had to get up for work at like 6 o'clock in the morning, and the stream didn't finish until like 12 10 a.m. in the morning. Missed shot by Tennessee, got deflected out of bounds off the Vols, and it will be Purdue basketball. Inbound. They almost lost it in the backcourt, but crossing midcourt with a Camden high, number 23. Goes over to Lance Jones. Right now, Smith is currently on the bench for Purdue. Edie has that the left elbow. Sends it outside to Gillis. Gillis with eight on the shot clock. This is an opportunity to make a run with Smith on the bench, Carly Edie, double team Edie, pivots his way down low. He scores up and off the glass with a left hand layup. Just split two defenders right there inside in the process. Seven zip run last two minutes by Purdue. Tennessee needs something. This is their fourth scoring drought of the game. Connect on the three off balance, misfired. And the rebound secured out of the pack by Gillis. And Purdue will start to play their game as they will slow it down. Under 10.30 left to go. Eight-point lead. Largest lead of the game for the Boilermakers right now. Dalton connects gone cold. He had 18 in the first half. Only six here in the second half. Attacking to the rim. Huge rejection by number 13. J.P. Estrella with a block here for Tennessee. And connect. Receives the lob. Soars up and puts it off the glass and in. 54-48. Wasn't the prettiest of lobs. But that's a huge block leading to the two points in transition for Tennessee. Six-point game. Top of the key, Gillis. Who's he going to pass it to? He sends it off to Lawyer right next to him. Kaufman Wren lobs it down to the low block to Edie. Edie working one-on-one, -on -one, backing bodies with a freshman with Estrella. Lob down low, Edie bobbled it, double-teamed. Down low, lost it, deflected out of bounds, and it was a push out of bounds. Charge to Purdue. Tennessee basketball. 
Signs of life now for Tennessee. And that's going to be... Well, Edie was down there. That's... Okay, they're just going to say it's out of bounds by Edie. So it's not going to result in a foul by Edie. Uh, they said he lost it out of bounds before. Before there was any push off on Jordan James who tried to save it. Fletcher Lawyer checks out right now for Purdue. Braden Smith back on the floor for Purdue. Tennessee with the possession. Jordan James. Hand off, connect, connect, drives on Edie, low block outside, Ziegler up fake, Ziegler weaves his way inside, dish out to the left wing, wide open three for Gaines, he drills it, Jordan Gainey, and that is Gainey right there, makes the three, second made three this half here for Gainey, 54-51, 9 0 oh, five left to play, Ziegler records his eighth, Eighth assist of the game. Smith attacks the hole. Missed off the glass. No good out of bounds. Last touch. It went off a gainy though. It's going to stay Purdue ball. What a battle here. For Tennessee to hang in this game. It looked like they were going to be trailing by much more. That was a major three just a moment ago by Gainey. Underneath the hoop here. Purdue looking for an inbound. Tennessee's picked up eight fouls. Purdue with three this half. Tennessee steals the inbound connect. Looking to take it a distance. He does. Up and in. Scores the layup off the backboard. One point game. 54-53 in Tennessee. Just like the first half. They're about to show up and play their best basketball of the game once again. With under nine minutes left to go in the second half as well. This time Purdue takes the timeout early. Two timeouts remaining by Purdue. Three by Tennessee. Poor pass by Lance Jones off the inbound. Got deflected by Ganey. Intercepted by Connect. And took it a distance with a layup. Dalton Connect with 28. Doing everything possible in this game to see if he can send Tennessee to their first ever Final Four. What a battle. 8.45 left to go. Looked like Tennessee was just dead in the water at one point. It was uh, at one point Purdue had a wide open three to put the game within a nine point lead. They bricked the three. Purdue led as many by eight this half. And then Tennessee has started to go in a run. Seven zip run and under a two minute clip. And this is just similar to the last half where they played their best basketball in the eight minute mark to the four minute mark of the first half. For Tennessee and right now they just played a great couple minutes of basketball it's a little bit earlier than what they had in the first half around like the 10 to 8 and a 10 to just under 9 9 minute mark for Tennessee what they were just doing and we'll see if they can keep that going hey what's good Harry welcome in that's awesome uh, best of luck to your mom there up in Boston Oh, that's great. So, uh, congrats there to your cousin. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not too far away from Boston. A lot a lot of things to do there. Today's a really nice day outside, too. It was uh, not too well this week for the weather. We had a lot of rain. We're actually supposed to get snow on Wednesday and Thursday. I, I heard like a foot of snow up in New Hampshire possible on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I think where I am, we're supposed to get like an, like an inch or two. So, uh, still have to keep out the snow s snow shovels where I am because it looks possible that uh, we could get some snow. It's crazy because uh, we, we've had snow before. We had like an April Fool's Day storm a long time ago that there was snow on. And the snow in April predicted in the forecast looks like in a couple of days. Tennessee is 10 for 21 from three, yet they're still trailing in this game. Uh, points in the paint, major for Purdue, 34-16. And, I mean, Zach Eady doing everything possible. It's a, it's an All-American battle here. 27-16 and 16 by Eady. 10 for 15 shooting. Tennessee has got 28 points out of connect, making five 
threes. 11 for 22 from the floor. Both of these teams have shot the ball pretty poorly at the free to line. I'll go over that in just a moment. Connect scored 28. Rest of the team with 25 for Tennessee. Edie's got 27. Rest of the team with 27 as well for Purdue. Both teams have missed quite a bit of free throws. We come back to action. Purdue gets the inbound. Smith is on the floor with Lance Jones, Edie, Camden Hyde, number 23, and also Mason Gillis. Gillis up fake at the top. Lobs it off to Edie. Passes outside Hyde out to the corner. Braden Smith. Shot clock down to eight here for Purdue. Five in the shot clock. Lobs it off to Edie. Edie backs his way. Low block. Edie puts up the shot. No good. That's... A great play there defensively for Tennessee. Able to force Edie away from the basket. He had to go towards like a 12-foot turnaround for him. And he forced the hook way too strong. He likes to be much closer to the rim. Top of the key here for Tennessee. Chance to take the lead. Jordan James. He is on the floor with J.P. Estrella. Jordan Ganey, who's been great lately from the perimeter. Jemai Meshack is out there and connect the fifth player on the floor. Currently, it's an air ball shot by Tennessee and not in the hands by Estrella, who is trying to save it and lost it on the mounds. Critical turnover. Free throws have been an issue for both teams. 12 for 19 by Purdue, 63%. 5 for 9 by Tennessee at 56%. And uh, we'll go through the turnovers in just a moment as we have a media timeout. Under 8 minutes left to go. 1 point lead for Purdue in a battle for the finish here. 54-53 to send the team off to the Final Four to play next Saturday. We'll take the break from action. What a game. Uh, 9 turnovers by Purdue. 6 by Tennessee today we've got a hundred plus watching right now if you're new in the stream smash the thumbs up hit the like hit the subscribe ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future live streams i cover basketball action on the channel play by play of college hoops also nba streams too so stay in the know be a part here on the channel with behind the arc basketball throughout the course of the season and uh, right now, since we're on a timeout, if anybody's interested, feel free to check out the Behind Your Basketball channel memberships. It's as low as $1.99 per month if anybody's interested out there. Get to shout out to the end of each and every single one of my live streams. That link is pinned to the chat. Also, feel free to check out the Behind Your Basketball uh, merchandise link. All those links are posted in the description of this video. The merchandise link for Teespring, which has some pretty cool stuff for my uh, channel merch with short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, iPhone cases, pillows, stickers, sweatshirts. So feel free to check that out if you like as well. And then my Twitter links up there too at Behind New York 14. All those links posted in the chat, channel memberships, merchandise, Twitter, and also the Discord link is in there too. Or all those links are posted in the description of this video. I got the one that's pinned to the chat being the memberships one. Hey, what's good, Jason? Welcome back on the stream, man. What a battle right now in this game. Tennessee scored 17 points off of turnovers today committed by Purdue. Purdue's turned it over nine times. They've hit their season average approximately. And Tennessee's been on a scoring run. Seven zip run last two minutes and 17 seconds. I really like the last defensive possession for them. They allowed Zach Eady to get off his spot. They forced him into like a 12-foot shot off a turnaround hook that's a little bit more away from the hoop where he would like. For Zach Eady. Zach Eady is going to try to get as close to the rim as possible. But he's able to make it from like 10 feet away. But when you put him back like a foot or, foot or two from 12 feet away. They put him off his spot enough that they forced the miss by Eady. One point game now. 7.53 left to go. This will be Purdue inbounds. Purdue underneath gets the inbound. Braden Smith on the floor with Fletcher Lawyer. Lance Jones. 
Zach Eady, Trey Kaufman, Wren. It's the five in the court currently for Purdue. Tennessee would connect Ganey. They get a freshman down low with J.P. Estrella. Zach Eady does work on him off the pivot, and he scores up and then off the glass. 56-53. Zach Eady just absolute clinic tonight. 29.16 rebounds today in this game. Meshack connect Estrella. Ziegler and Ganey. That's the five on the floor for Tennessee. Hand off to Connect. Connect dribbles up to the elbow. Double team his pass. Deflected. Intercepted. Loose ball at midcourt. Tennessee gets it back though. Kick out corner. Wide open. Three. Connect. And he drills it. Oh wow. What a swing in the game right there. That should have been a turnover. But able to come up with a 50-50 ball at midcourt. We are tied. 56-56. Connect with 31. He just drilled his sixth three in a good game, doing work from the corner from the perimeter. Smith at the left wing, lobs it off to Edie. Edie down to the low block now. 6.45 remaining, backing bodies on Estrella. Turner had hook shot, missed off the back room, no good. Rebound secured by Tennessee. Big time defense by a freshman with J.P. Estrella from Scarborough, Maine, forcing the miss by Edie. Jumper to elbow, misfire, no good by Connect. Rebound secured by Jones. Purdue has the possession. Up the floor now. Back to Jones. Over to the top. Smith up fake. Top of the key. Braden Smith guarded by Connect 101. 6.15 left to go. He's going to slow it down. Tied up here. 56 even. Smith lobbed to Edie. Edie working on Estrella. A first year player in an Elite 8 game. Smith lobbed to Edie again. 5 of the shot clock. Turn around over Estrella. Rattles in. It's good for 2 for Edie. Zach Edie is eating. His way inside a low post today. Sakai Ziegler crosses midcourt. 31 and 16 by Edie. Ziegler. Top of the key for Tennessee. Handoff Meshack back into the hands to connect. Connect's been sensational. Connect. Floats it up over the top. Rolling down. It's a two-handed slam for the freshman. J.P. Estrella tearing down a roof shack with an alley-oop jam. Assisted by Dalton. Connect. 58-58, what a lob right there by Connect. Estrella came into the game averaging just 1.7 points per game, playing critical minutes for the Vols right now with another six minutes left to go. Edie backs his way in Estrella. Inside, turn around, hook shot. Missed off the front rim, no good. Tipped out of bounds, last touched off a of Kaufman run of Purdue. It's going to be Tennessee basketball. Oh, what a game here. J.P. Estrella for Tennessee a freshman from Scarborough, Maine, holding down the fort the best as possible here for Tennessee. Right now in the front court at 6 foot 11, giving Zach Eady a couple misses as a late. And with an alley oop jam to go along with it, too, with Estrella, he's got two points off the bench. 31 in an all American battle. Zach Eady, 31 points. Alongside 16 rebounds, 31 points by Dalton Connect. With six main threes, Connect. Jumper, 14 footer straight away. Off the rim, no good. Battle for the rebound. Who's got it? Loose ball. Bodies flying over where we get a tie up. Possession arrow, Tennessee. 453 left to go. If you're new on the stream, smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. What a game! What a game. Tennessee will get the basketball here. Hit us up in the chat. Who you want to win, type it in. Vols. Boiler up. Purdue, Tennessee. Type it in. Rocky Top. Boiler ball. Inbound here goes to Tennessee. They have it at the elbow with Toby Iwaka. Sends it off to the wing to connect. Connect. Takes the three. Looking for number seven. No good. Skipped around the rim and out. Got contact here. Off the rebound as Edie went down. That's going to be charged to Toby Iwaka, I believe, on a loose ball foul. Edie and Gillis were both in position to get the rebound. That's going to be a loose ball foul on Awaka with 4.42 left to go. And this will be bonus time here for Purdue. That is the ninth personal foul as Awaka. It all depends on who he knocked, who, who he got there. If it's going to be Edie, as Edie was the one who was trying to box out. Rick Barnes cannot believe the call right there. Rick Barnes cannot believe the call. Awaka picks up the personal 
and this will send Edie to the free to line. So Zach Edie will head to the free to line. Toby Awaka picks up the personal foul for Tennessee. And this will be a one and one. That's Tennessee's ninth at the free to ninth personal foul today in the second half. Purdue with just three in the second half. First one is good by Edie. One point lead for Purdue. What a game. OG, welcome in the stream, man. What a battle here. Quick update on the foul trouble right now for Tennessee. Awaka just picked up his fifth. He is done for the game. So that was number five. He has just fallen out. Second free throw. No good. ED missed number two. Rebound secured by Tennessee. So Awaka has fallen out. That is his fifth. Adu and Meshack have three. And Tennessee will burn a timeout here. 4.36 left to go. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. What a battle. This will be Tennessee basketball coming up. Toby Awaka has just fallen out. Finishes with two points. Five personal fouls for him. Four rebounds. A block and a steal. Dalton Connect and Zach Eady. It's just been an All-American showdown in this game today. Connect responsible for 31 points on 12 for 26 shooting. 6 for 10 from three-point range. Zach Eady, 32 points and 16 rebounds. Fletcher Lawyer is the only other player in double figures scoring. He's got 12. Braden Smith right behind with 9.6 rebounds, 5 assists. Tennessee has never made the Final Four. Purdue looking to get to the Final Four for the first time since 1980. It will be their third Final Four appearance if they come out with a victory here. Big difference in foul numbers, though, in this game. Tennessee with nine personal fouls. Right now in the second half, and Purdue with three. So the next time around, a Tennessee would send Purdue into the double bonus next time. Connect with 31, rest of the team with 27. Edie with 32 and 16 rebounds, rest of the team with 27 for Purdue as well. Here we go. Inbound goes to Connect. Connect at the March Madness logo. 425 left to play. Connect flings it out left corner. Jordan James dribbles up to the elbow. Rises for the jumper. Deep two. No good. Missed off the back rim. Gillis secures the defensive rebound for Purdue. Braden Smith slows down the possession. 410 left to play in the second half. Smith at the March Madness logo. He's defended by Ziegler 101. Smith off the screen sets. Body went flying down right there with Fletcher Lawyer. No call by the referees. The pass down low to Edie. Edie lost it. Got it back. And a loose ball foul. Picked up. Charged on the reach. And they're going to say to Jordan James of Tennessee. So this is going to be free throws again. And a double bonus after the timeout for Edie. 3.56 left to go. Man, these referees are not letting Purdue play on in this game. It's been multiple calls going against Tennessee today. I, I think we got to check. We got to check to see if any of these referees had any, any of their brackets and wagers for Purdue to go all the way. Because this is really getting suspicious right now. Tennessee, there's a big foul disparity in this game. It's massive. 20 fouls committed by Tennessee. 10 by Purdue. Like, there's barely any contact. Like, Edie got stripped. And then they wouldn't even let him play. Like, like all, all the foul calls for Tennessee, it's been down low defending Edie. I mean, this is some horrific refereeing today that it's been this big of a foul disparity and usually I don't bring it up that much on these streams but yeah this one is clearly you, you can clearly see this one that there's barely any contact when these guys are defending ED yet Purdue's getting all the calls right now Daniel on the stream welcome in glad to have you back in uh, happy Easter everybody hope all is going well and um, if you guys are new on the stream make sure to Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the channel here. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Feel free to join back in for the stream later today. I'll be back covering Duke against NC State. So if you'd like to come on back, feel free to do so. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight, three fifty-six left to go.
that was on Jordan James, who picked up the reach in. So Jordan James has three. Nobody has four right now. Awaka has followed out. So Toby Awaka has followed out for Tennessee, but Tennessee's got three other players with three right now for personal follows between Adu, Meshack, and Jordan James. Holy smokes, like, ooh. The, these referees need to be checked out for, like, wagers on Purdue. Fifty nine, fifty eight. Twenty fouls by Tennessee this entire game, ten by Purdue in this half. Tennessee has ten, Purdue has three. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. Purdue will head to the free to line. It'll be two shots the rest of the way throughout the course of this game. Zach Eady with two more free throws coming up in a double bonus. Sixth player ever with 400 plus free throw attempts in a single season by Eady. Eady shooting two. First one is good. 60 to 58. Second shot by Edie. Around and in. Got the bounce. Three-point lead now for Purdue. Tennessee went on their four left to go with a possession. Ziegler on the floor with Jordan James. Connects. Who's coming off the screen here at the wing. J.P. Estrella, who's been excellent last couple minutes filling in defensively. Jonas Adu, the fifth player on the floor. Connect off the pivot. Floats up the shot. He gets fouled. This is getting to be choppy here. The clock stops with 341. That's going to be charged to Fletcher Lawyer, his third. That is going to send Connect to the free to line shooting two. So they got him off the turnaround there. Connect got followed. So two free throws for Connect, 77%. Free throw shooter this season makes the first one. An epic All-American battle right now. Dalton connects up to 32 points. 34 points and 16 rebounds by Zach Eady. Second free throw by connect right down the middle. Big response for Tennessee making both the free throws. One point game once again. 340 left to go. Inbound in the backcourt for Purdue. Edie scored, a tw uh, Edie scored 12 straight points in a row. Right now for Purdue, is, we're down to three and a half minutes left to play. Braden Smith has it at the edge of the March Madness logo. It's Smith, Lawyer, Edie, Gillis, and Lance Jones. The five on the floor. Smith lobs it up over the top for the big fella who catches it and throws it down with a two-handed slam for Edie. 63-60. to 60. Tennessee looking to respond right back. Edie with a monstrous game. 36-16. and 16. Step back three in the air. Connect. Missed the three ball off the rim. Short rebound secured by Gillis for Purdue. Three minutes remaining. Crossing midcourt now with Braden Smith. He slows down the tempo. Pick gets set by Lance Jones. Smith at the elbow. Pass outside to the top to Smith into the hands to a Smith once again from Lance Jones. Smith swings it out to the wing. Lance Jones catching fire three. Rattles it in. It's good. Trifecta from downtown for Lance Jones. That's a big three. Tennessee now looking to get a bucket here immediately. Connect. At the top. Guarded by Jones. Dribbles up now. Low block. Connect. Works his way underneath. And Purdue picks up a reach and fall. Charge to Jones. Lance Jones with a massive three just a moment ago for Purdue. That's only their third three of this entire game. Three for 14 from the perimeter. Tennessee's done everything possible. Drilling threes left and right. 11 for 24, yet they're still down. Inbound, connect, launches up a three. No good, missed the back heel. Rebound secure by Purdue, and Purdue's going to play their style, and that means slowing it down once again. Braden Smith crosses midcourt. 
Tennessee in one of those lengthy scoring droughts. Once again, it's the fifth scoring drought that they've had of consecutive minutes in this game. Smith dribble drives on top. Goes over to Lawyer. Straight away with a three. No good. Around the rim and out. Offensive rebound goes right back to Smith. A new 20 in the shot clock. A big, big disparity in rebounds in this game. 44 to 25 in favor of Purdue. Smith drives. Pass off. The runner down low to the trailer here. It's Edie who gets clobbered and fouled. And Edie will head back to the line shoot too as he gets Estrella who picks up the shooting foul. There was Tennessee right there actually got away. That should have been a foul. Ziegler knocked out Lawyer hard to the deck and the referees missed it before Edie got fouled. So... There should, there should have been one charge to Tennessee prior to that. As we just saw that replay, Fletcher Lawyer hit the deck hard as it was away from the ball. That Ziegler knocked him down. This will be free throws. Two shots by Edie. First one's good. Seven point lead for Purdue. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future live streams. Zach Eady, first player in multiple games with 30 points and 15 rebounds at least in the NCAA tournament. Second free to by Eady. It is right down the middle. National player of the year coming alive right now. Career high. He ties 38 for Zach Eady. 68 to 60. Tennessee at the wing. Going to need something quickly here. Ziegler. Moves on top over to Mayshack. Don't have all day if you're Tennessee. Shot clock's already down to 15. Ziegler at the left wing. Drives downhill to the rim, and he gets the layup. 68-62. Finally decide to be urgent there for Tennessee, and now a timeout will be taken. 128 left to go. Purdue up by six. Coming up with the basketball as we head to a timeout. Major disparity in this game with the free throws. That was a Tennessee timeout, so Tennessee burned that timeout with Rick Barnes. Tennessee is down to one timeout left. Purdue has got two remaining. Zach Eady at the free throw line today, 12 for 16. Everybody else has attempted four free throws or fewer. And Eady is 12 for 16 at the free throw line, 38 points, tying a career high. And 16 rebounds, 13 for 21 from the floor for Edie. 33 by Dalton connects for Tennessee here. They're going to force a steal real, real soon. they got to get one here quickly. Wow. Yeah, figures. This game is in Detroit, so it's in Purdue's region. Yep. I mean, this this was all over the place today with the refereeing. So many choppy follow calls with barely any contact to him that is robbing Tennessee here of this game. Porter, welcome back in. 68-62. Purdue gets the inbound of the quarter. They're trapped, and they get it off to Edie, who gets fouled. Tennessee was looking for a travel violation there by Edie. They couldn't get one. Estrella got called in the reach and foul. Wow. Holy, holy smokes. Zach Eady, 12 for 16 at the free throw line. One more free throw. It will be a new career high. 38 points tonight. 38 and 16 for Edy, shooting two. And also, if there's a tie-up, that possession arrow right now is in the favor of Tennessee. First one is no good. Missed it short. Feel free to come on back for Duke versus NC State. If you'd like to come on back for that stream later today, I'll be back covering Duke against NC State. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. If you're new, hit that like. Helps out this video a ton being found on YouTube. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Ring the notification bell as well for more live streams. ED has a new career high right down the middle. 69-62, 39 points by Zach Eady, alongside 16 rebounds. Tennessee with the possession. Ziegler swings it off to the wing. Connect at the left corner. Into the hands, back to connect. Connect, slices the fenders, drives right to the cup. He scores with a right-hand layup. Five-point game, minute and five left to go. Approaching the mark, up the floor here, Braden Smith. 
Crosses midcourt, connects, got 35 for Tennessee. Into the hands to Smith. 20 in the shot clock, 56 in the game clock. Edge in the midcourt logo for Smith, 14 in the shot clock. Out to the top to Gillis, a lawyer. Lobs it over to Edie. Edie looking to do the honors for Purdue. Backs his way. Brings along a double team. Edie underneath. And guess what happened again? He got fouled. Reach in call. Picked up charge to Tennessee. Edie will head back to the line as Tennessee brought three defenders there. Once again, barely any contact. And Edie will shoot two more. And he's... This has got to be under investigation for this game. Like, this is the worst officiating I've ever seen. Like, there's barely any contact down low. Tennessee still trying to be physical, bringing along double teams and triple teams. And yet, it's not even like there's contact or anything, and they're calling Tennessee in these fouls. First shot missed at the line by Edie. Second free throw here by Edie. And he airballed it. It's going to be Tennessee basketball. Zach Eady airballed a free throw and it sailed out of bounds. Toby Awaka has fouled out. This is the foul trouble for Tennessee. Four each between Jordan James and Mayshack. AD was three for personal fouls. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Connect. Almost bobbled that one, but able to get it back. Connect. Drives on Eady. Blocked by Eady. And Purdue comes up with a basketball. 30 seconds left to go. Huge rejection as the National Player of the Year rejects the first team All-American. Purdue with the ball and they will draw the foul reaching in for Tennessee. And this will take the clock down to 21.9 seconds. Fletcher Lawyer will shoot two at the free throw lines. The fans come up on their feet here in Detroit. And Purdue will... Looking like they're going to head back to the Final Four for the first time since 1980. Twenty-one point nine seconds left to go. Fletcher Lawyer, eighty-six percent free throw shooter, shooting two. First one is through. Second shot coming up here at the line by Lawyer. Got it. 71-64. Final 21 seconds left to go. Connect. Crosses midcourt. Connect. Drives in. Takes it a distance for the layup. 71-66. We have a timeout. Tennessee will burn their final timeout. So we head right now to the timeout. 15.6 left to go. Feel free to join back in for uh, Duke against NC State later today. I'll be back on for that one. Edie with 39 and 16 in this game. 37 by Dalton Connect. Fletcher Lawyer, huge difference maker in this game. He really stepped up uh, second half for him. 14 by Lawyer. And there were only three players total that got double figures. Lawyer was one of them. Just an incredible battle between Edie and Connect. These guys going off for 30 plus. Fifteen point six left to play. And Purdue is going to go to the Final Four for the first time since 1980. Third ever Final Four appearance for the Boilermakers. Purdue about to get the inbound 15.6 seconds left. They lob it over to Edie who gets fouled. So 14.8. I'll head back to the line, shoot two more, see if he can uh, 
Up his career high here. 39 points for Zach Eady. 13 for 20 at the free to line. First one. It's good. 40 in the board for Edie. Bill, welcome in, man. Yeah, this was a really, really just uh, poorly officiated game. Crushing Tennessee's hopes. Second free throw is good. Final 12 seconds left to go. Connect. Gives it over to Ziegler. Launches up a three. Missed rim short. Defensive rebound. Hauled in by Purdue. And they'll dribble out the clock. And Purdue's going to the Final Four. 72-66, the final score. Zach Eady hugs his head coach, Matt Painter. It's been basically them against the world. And Zach Eady, a career high in this game. 40 with 16 rebounds. The first ever Final Four appearance since 1980 for the Boilermakers. I'll be back for Duke against NC State. So feel free to join in if you guys would like. So we'll be back on that stream around a half an hour from now. And uh, wow, what a battle here. Dalton Connect gave it his all finish with 37 points, making six threes by Connect. In the end, not enough though for Tennessee. Really big X Factor stepping up in the second half with Fletcher Lawyer. Finished with 14 points in this game for Fletcher Lawyer. Happy Easter, everybody. I'll be back in less than a half an hour. Duke against NC State for the final Elite Eight game for a trip to take on Purdue in the final four. And uh, thanks all for joining in. We're going to close out to the channel members. All channel members get a shout out at the end of each and every single one of my live streams. we got Jason, Warren, Rajeep, I Am Ghost, David, Russell, John, Mark, Kelly, Jeffrey, Vegas, Oink, Oink, Michael, Katie, Bradley, Daniel, Derek, Sister Surround, Mario, Guido, Tristan, SG Sports Talk, Ice Ice Baby, Robin, Melinda, and Jack City. Thanks all for joining in, being a part of the stream for this one here at Purdue. It's moving on to the final four. Purdue wins over Tennessee 72 to 66. Happy Easter, everyone, and I'll be back a little bit later for NC State versus Duke. Feel free to stop and by. Happy Easter, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.